Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Let's chat a little bit. So we have a whole bunch of spells to eventually test out so we understand what they do a little better uh, before we go too much further into the playthrough. I was debating how much I wanted to touch the arena today just because of the fact that I think we could potentially repeat it over and over to get uh, stat upgrades. Which is not too bad. But I think I mostly just want to figure out... Uh, I guess what to name the last couple ones. And maybe test like Lifeguard, for example. Yeah. We'll, we'll go in the arena a little bit today. But then I think we'll be flying in the Proto Wing. So I guess we'll jump into the game. Plot-wise, we were told, quote, go to the southeast, end quote. And I'm like, I, I don't really know what our destination looks like, per se. So we'll have to find it eventually, I suppose. Hopefully you're doing well today, Chris. Make sure I'm not playing with PSO controls. There we go. Hmm. We're missing two tools. And otherwise pretty close to the end of the game, at least in terms of acquiring items. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to try Meat Shield... Soul Guard. I don't know what Exhaustion is. <laughs> I, I'm just like... I wonder if Soul Guard is actually more like Auto Life in Final Fantasy, like you die and you get revived. I, I don't know what Exhaustion means, because both of them are target and ally. I don't think that's a... Status ailment? Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, it's a- it's very ambiguously worded, and I need something that would potentially kill me to test it. Hmm. So one of those potentially could be useful. Although, Lifeguard is more expensive, so that would almost lead me to think that this is supposed to be the Auto Life, plus it is life in the name. Sorry that Daylight Savings has messed up your schedule. Lock State, I think, is just supposed to be used to stop you from getting status ailments. I feel like I'm missing a very basic ability in here. We might go back and check the town later. Wasn't there one that reduced enemy response time? I thought there was. Let, let's go check it out in the town. Because, like, I haven't really had a reason to use it before, but if we're going to do the arena again, I think I need it. Because if I reduce response time, I think that I would be able to get away with, uh, you know, decrease response time, decrease defense, maybe Doki Hyper beat the game. Like, should be named Baywatch. That's not a bad name for it, actually.
So I'm, this might be the auto revive. Like, but again, it's like, I, I don't like the in-game descriptions. Like that doesn't help me. Like, couldn't it just say like automatically revive player if killed? Like, wouldn't that be just be so much easier to write? All right, let's get rid of counter up. So that way I could see like if I forgot a spell in here. It's like black magic, right? Yeah, okay, it was. <laughs> oh no, we have to name something that's slow. Chat, there's so many characters this could be. I'm like, do you know how many... <laughs> do you know how many times we've come across a scenario where characters are too stupid to go through? Clarity is not this game's strong suit, that's true. I'll see what chat comes up with in a moment. Are there any spells I'm just not using at all? Probably blind. I don't think that really matters. Oh, the counter rate was a white spell? Advanced spell? That kind of sucks. Mm. Like, what is 50% attribute field? Do you know what I mean? Like... G give me a hint, game. W what does this do? Wow. Chat. That that cleared it up real good. <laughs> uh. Chat, I think I know what I'm going to call a slowdown. I'm assuming it means elemental resistance, like if I had to put it in a game term, but like I don't know if I would have gotten that from what I just read. Actually. It is the perfect name for that spell. Glad the game agreed. Anyway, we're gonna move five years up a little bit. Um, I don't need it like super often. But it should not be at the bottom of the list. I'm gonna move Dave all the way down because I don't have a reason to use Dave at the moment. Like maybe at the end of the game we'll use Dave because it casts wholly on a weapon. So in theory it's very useful but like most of the time I don't think I care. I guess I'll put it next to fine gold because that's about where I would use it. Maybe. I think she was called Brim. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at these and, like, as a first-time player, I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't think the spell description explains at all <laughs> what it does. I don't think I feel enlightened at all. <laughs> I'm 
Like, I'm assuming it's elemental resistance. Is it... Like, do I get to choose the element, or is it random? If this is random, like, this is actually trash. <laughs> do you know what I mean, chat? I'm just seeing if I feel inspired by any other spell names before we move on. Yeah, like, maybe the difference between Soul Guard and, like, Life Guard is that Soul... Maybe there is, like, an insta-kill. Like, maybe that's what the difference is. Like, it literally means, like, only protects against insta-kill. But then, like, why would you take Soul Guard if Life Guard exists? Because, like, both of them technically do that. Oh, I guess if you die and you get revived, maybe you lose your buffs. I guess. I just like trying to think out loud, like why you would have both. For us, I don't think it matters. So we're gonna try the arena again with the new spells. We're gonna test the insta kill, because being able to lifeguard instead of healing every turn would actually be huge. For example, the downside is it just costs a lot of MP. So it really just depends on like how much I wanna do. So we'll do a very quick one. So we're definitely gonna oops over there. Let's see if the ship follows us. Or if not, we'll just go back to Aldeha. It doesn't really matter. As long as we do at least two fights, it's profitable. But more importantly, I want to see if you would be able to repeat the apples, or if it changes the reward. I'm imagining the thing that we got before, the goat doll, is useful for like the bonus bosses. Oh, I never restored our ammo count. Oops. Um, That's fine. I'm going to save ammo then. You know what? I'm going to disrespect this enemy by trying to learn a technique mid-battle. Oh no, Prismatic Blaze. That did no damage. That was actually just kind of sad. I guess he's just automatically dodges all melee. <laughs> Unless it's like a skill. His evasion is too high. Too bad I do like 8,000 damage. GG. We almost got our money's worth, and then we're gonna heal up afterwards. So we'll pay for any of the resources. I just wanna see, like in theory, if you were to do this twice, whether this would buff you up. I do not think we are strong enough to deal with the final arena fight. We'll come back when we get another like really good boss gun. Cause like we can beat the third enemy, but then we have like no resources. You see, I have like two rocket shot, two twin orbs. Like there's no way I'm killing another enemy that's on par with like the third enemy. It's just, I don't think it's happening. I think Divide Shot actually worked on this enemy, which I thought was interesting. Uh... I mean, I'm gonna Baywatch eventually. Uh, let's use five years on him. Please don't one-shot, girl. Come on. Do you know what I mean? Like, that that was just unfair. Can we all just agree? Like, that was just actually unfair. Yeah, that did 999 at least. Wow. Okay, can you... Could you not kill my other character? When I'm trying to do this to make you easier to kill? Well, it did 999 at least. So Divide Shot seems like the way to go against the arena. I accidentally used it in the arena before. 
and I was wondering why it did so much damage. But anyway, that saves us potentially a lot of time. I think with her, I have to rest to here. I don't think I have a choice. Because unfortunately, I went to slow him down and he didn't get slowed. I can't accelerate a heal. Um... I think I have to rest it here, sadly. So there's a small chance Cowboy survives a hit. Come on! Jack, come on! Like, what is this? The, that is such BS. Come on. I, the, you could hit literally any other character. It wouldn't matter. That is so stupid. You know, I'm trying to test something. And the game is not letting me use the damn character. I want to use the test. If he dies too, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. I'm not going to revive her anymore. I've given up on this strategy. I'm just going to manually heal him so he can survive. Like, we did over 9,000 damage, so he can't have that much more health left. So we'll go for... I don't know. See, that's the problem. I think I need to buff her speed by, like, way more. I think chat would agree. Like, if, if she had speed, maybe I could get away without using magic up and just put her on raw speed. Because if that happens, like, every bonus boss, like, there is just literally nothing I could do, and it feels really awful. Please don't one-shot me. Of course. So sadly, I think I'm about to game over here, even though I don't think I did anything wrong. I just got so unlucky. He did, like, three brutal attacks in a row. Like, a GG, I guess. If this doesn't kill, I'll just reset. Because I'm, I'm out of damage options with this character. Like, that's arguably the only thing I messed up. Like, I don't know. The bazooka? Who cares? Oh. Oh, he chose not to brutal attack me randomly? Thanks. So dumb. So yeah, as I said before, it, some, some, of these, some of these fights feel a little unfair. That felt really unfair. Like, the difference between, like, going through and, like, the enemy doing a thousand versus literally one-shotting your AoE healer before she has a turn is just kind of BS. Like, I just, I don't really enjoy that kind of difficulty. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, I don't mind when the game is, like, quote-unquote more challenging, but that is just really upsetting to me, honestly. I could technically give her... Would 118 make a difference? I don't think it would. No, it would still put her too slow. See, she's like 108 speed. Like, I, I just don't think there's a way to recover this. So she would probably need like 130 plus, I would imagine, based off the enemy speed. Because sometimes we outspeed the enemy. So he can't be that far away from 126 if we're able to sometimes use it. But yeah, it's just kind of one of those things, Chad. Like, I definitely want my revenge. I'm gonna go do it again. I didn't learn what the spell did because I didn't get a chance to use it, so thanks, game. So hopefully she lowers the response time so I can play the game. So I have a 33% chance that I just don't get to play the game on this arena battle. But Chad, as you can see, will be very obnoxious. This time I got my ammo. So yeah, it definitely feels like the strategy is divide shot, response time lower, weaken defense, slash AoE heal, and then eventually weaken defense. But like, if you're not given the chance to do it, I mean like, wh what can I say about that? It's just, it's not really fair. So yeah, it's kind of lame when that happens. It's kind of like we were talking about before with like damage disparity. I think, what, what game were we talking about that when I was mentioning that? Was that Trials? The enemy could do anywhere between like 200 and like 5,000 damage. 
I'm trying to think what game it was. But it was, it was it was this year we talked about it. I'm reminded of that. We're just like, I'll refight a battle, and then like the enemy won't use the, the ludicrous insta-kill attack. Yeah, I'm trying to think if it was Trials with the uh, Ludger Werewolf, or if it was uh, a different RPG. I was trying to think, Jenna, on that. But that's what I'm talking about. Like when they when they could go anywhere between like literally ineffective to one shotting you, it's just kind of like, come on. I don't like those coin flips. I I feel like to make it a bit more fair, the first move of the boss battle should go in there. It might have also been Radiant Historia. Yeah, it might have also been Radiant Historia, where I just read. Yeah, I think it was also Radiant Historia. We talked about that with the bonus boss, where it was literally just like reset if you don't get a certain move, because there's no point to do in the boss battle if that happens. So I was talking about like a specific setup to make sure that the boss didn't do something. I think we talked about that. Uh, I think I want to. Okay, let me think about this. If I rocket launcher and then. Like, this time I meant 100% full health. So, I swear, chat, if she gets one shot with full health, I'm gonna get very annoyed again, because I would like to go first. Thank you, I get to play the game. Please actually hit as well. Oh, of course. Thanks, RNG. Please also work on him, by the way. Good. So we're gonna do rocket attack, we're gonna do another divide shot. I'm just gonna do lifeguard on him. <clears throat> so Baywatch. Alright, so we're out speeding now. Please hit. Okay. Let's see, will this stop him from dying if he gets targeted? <laughs> So I think the smart thing to do here would just be to rest, uh, no matter what. Cause he's got about 40,000 health, so we've done about half of it already. Nice dodge. So now, now I'm ahead of the game. So I think I have two Don't Kill Me moves activated. And if we could get life... Yeah, if we could get life, or excuse me, Baywatch on ourselves, we should be fine. So this, sh this should now be a completely winnable battle. There's nothing the boss can really do to kill me. Okay, so we're doing a little less than 9,000. So we'll switch attacks next turn. I'm going to purposely not heal. Although he might be dead before we get to see it. Uh... I guess I could do Meteor Dive again. Let's let him know he's wide open. How much is this doing? Not that much. Oh, and he died. Never mind. We'll never find out, chat. Hunter Girl went up a level. Nice. Okay, so now if we leave the fight, this is also what I wanted to test. Do we get items? Oh, we do get everything again. Okay, so we could just farm that repeatedly then for magic signs if we wanted to. I'm not sure what we could steal from the enemy. It's possible we also get more that way. So again, we're trying to make it so that she doesn't die instantly. So maybe that extra response time might make a difference, because she's not super far off from the party. Ambrosia seems like a good thing to stock up on. Got three duplicators, which I really don't know what to use them on. I'm sure we'll see eventually. We find Mega Berries, which are like super boss heals. We got Potion Berry for Mystic. Heal Berry for just casual travel. We're up to 24 Magic Carrots, which is pretty good. 
Welcome more JK. I hope you're doing well. So yeah, doing that is kind of like getting a free level up. There we go. So in theory, if she levels up, maybe... I don't know, like two more times she can avoid the insta-kill on top of any additional defense she gets. And I think if Hunter levels up one more time, he might... I think he might survive right now, honestly. But I think one more time would be safe. So we'll definitely come back here when we have slightly better stats. And if we happen to find any additional armor, I think think we'll actually survive the brutal attack so that would just end up being free stats for us sadly we don't seem to get cumulative rewards so like if i beat the first one i'm not getting the second and third tier of rewards if i also happen to complete those so i would have to stop at very specific points of the arena let's just use this area to heal again 5000 xp is okay if you split it between the two fights, I think you get an average of closer to like 3,000. Which is like... Solid, I guess. How far did I go in the arena? I went to the third one. I don't think I have strong enough weapons to do the fourth one, so there's no point to continuing. I just... I literally just need like a... Like one additional weapon, and I think I could do it. But if I run out of ammo, there's no point. I really don't like how this thing pilots at all. Oh, it's so awkward. Welcome, Kerr. Yeah, I don't see the point in continuing at the moment. It's at southeast, right? I'm taking it very literally. So that puts me over here. There's the L Temple that was here. I know there's this big mountain range. Does it want me to go in the big mountain range? There's the naming service. What was this? What was this again? Oh, the isolated guild. Hmm. So yeah, we can't reach that. But I... I'm just not sure. So I, I went southeast. I'm not seeing a way to interact with this. Like, we definitely have not been here. It's just more like, where could I go with this that I couldn't go before? So we've been in the naming wagon several times at this point. To the point that I recognize it. <laughs> it's often we've been there. So there's the temple. This is just like a big stretch of mountain I can't do anything with. Like, clearly I'm supposed to go here next after we get the upgrade. Unless there's an opening somewhere in this mountain. But so far we've not been able to find it if it exists. Hmm. Game, please. Game, I know you can land here. Thank you. There's another isolated guild. That doesn't help us. Hmm. So I went southeast and eventually wrapped around the world due to avoiding the mountains. Hmm. I was going to say, Chad, I'm going to be real honest. I have no idea where it wants us to go relative then. <clears throat> I didn't see anything between us and there. Another bottle in the ocean, but it might be one of those joke letters. Because if I look literally southeast, we've already been to like the <clears throat> white icon in the southeast. I don't think there was anything we could do there. Unless we're revisiting a dungeon. Which I hope we're not. Because this is like the big sand area.
Yeah, like, I don't think there's anything I could walk on. That's the other thing I'm just verifying. Like, if I were to summon... The Ocarina, would I be able to do anything differently over here? I feel like the answer would be no. Hmm. I don't want to go back to Dead Sanctuary. Game, please. All right, chat. The game, please. Just land. I just want to check something. Forgotten ruins. I think we've been here before. Indeed, we have. But did I get every item? We have. Okay. Hmm. So where do I go? Unless, like, the game is, like, lying to me, it definitely said Southeast. Because there, there is literally nothing for me to do in the Southeast. Like, does it mean, like, oh, like, d does it count this as Southeast? And I guess I could change my direction a little bit. I'm not sure if any of these areas would help me in particular. Hmm... anything to do yet. <laughs> I can land in Arctica if I wanted to. Hmm. How it how is that southeast? No, come on. Game, don't lie to me. That is not Southeast as Aldehyde. That's, uh, that's like barely slightly South. Like, come on. Don't, don't tell me Southeast. That is not Southeast. Roll my eyes, especially since I had to park up here. If you look at where I am relative to the map, I'm almost like dead East of Aldehyde. Stupid. Game gave me bad directions, chat. I'm telling you. That was an unnecessary waste of time. Thank you, Wild Arms. <laughs> it was like, that did, that did not help with the directions. And yeah, there's a bombable place here. Sorceress and the Warriors, I am Equitus, the Guardian of the Sword. My will and my powers have been separated. Yeah, I, I guess she counted that as southeast. I don't know. Like, to me, that whole continent was east of her, so whatever. My powers are sealed in a temple surrounded by an imposing mountain range. As payment for reclaiming my powers, I shall give you the secret of my sword technique. Unjust heart fills with the images of the Sword of Equitus. Astral hint acquired. Oh, that was random. So now I have two techniques I don't understand. Yay! I love techniques I don't understand. There's no other bombable. I might as well as bomb it. Okay. Anything to do over here? Well, there's even more bombables. Hmm. Maybe I'll go back to the other arm. Or other location, I mean. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I could just use these. I need to learn them eventually. So, I think where the issue where I think maybe I I think for example, uh, Valkyrie is getting a bad rap is useless. I think people just don't understand that if the enemy resists any elements to just not use it. It's kind of like Rainbow. Like if the enemy doesn't resist it, it does a lot of damage. 
So like we could do a we could do a status ailment check here or not status ailment check. So oh they actually ran. We could do an element check to see if they're resistant to it. So given the damage, I'm going to assume that they have a resistance. Because I, I think the one we got from the sorcery is very likely to be like all seven elements like rainbow is. I don't know what that one is at all. I might as well blow this up. I'm here. Oh, never mind. We'll come back. So there are a lot of enemies that just have no resistances. Oh, what is this? Go and bed in the statue. Do you want to remove it? Sure. Tool acquired. Oh, nothing else to do in here. So we're just gonna do some generic damage here. Um, I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna spam spells, or my target runs away. Sure. So let's find out if they have resistances by doing this. Well, they might actually die to Prism Ray before I get to check. Oh no, I get to see. So let's see if they take damage. So that's an example of an enemy with no resistances. So Valkyrie would do the same thing. So if I saw those, I would know it's safe to Valkyrie those. There we go. We fell off on purpose to save time. The Chris spell went, nope, you cease to exist. So we're acquiring jewels, but I don't know their purpose yet. I'll take the random encounters for now, because I just mostly want to get some money back. Because inevitably I'm going to get another weapon, probably here at some point. So it'd be nice if I had cash for it. But right now, I think we can all agree. Prism Ray is putting in the work. So we're gonna Kirk plus plus. If the enemies happen to live, then it's whatever. Oh, I didn't expect the Valkyrie to actually stick around. Hmm. Why did that attack miss? That is so upsetting on so many levels. See how much it does against an enemy that guards, maybe. I mean, that was a lot of damage. I think people were just sleeping on it. Poor Valkyrie plus plus. You just were not understood by players. Like, I, when you see that magical effect, that is literally the elements that are hitting them. So I guess as long as the element that they are resistant to does not hit them, then I think it just does full damage. This is why we don't pay attention to people online. I almost guarantee you there's people that are like, oh, Valkyrie's useless. I'm like, I just got two different kills with that. So good. Like maybe maybe now that I have Blast, it's a little less useful, but it's like, it's still good. Ooh, I guess before I go down a floor, oh, hello. Black Pass acquired? What the heck is a Black Pass? Pass for black market? Okay. Well, I can see another weapon container. To no one's surprise, we're getting another weapon. Iron Maiden. Interesting. So yeah, we'll do a quick meteor dive because it costs one. So it's just like guaranteed damage. And then we'll do... We'll, we'll investigate them. Because investigate is kind of expensive. It's also like 22 MP compared to 10. So like, oh, and they have like no HP. So if I'm just looking for like a cheap AOE, it just makes sense for me to use Kirk Plus Plus. But we might not, get to, might not be able to see the damage they do here because we outspeed her. Oh no, we're gonna investigate them. 
I mean, that wasn't really that much damage than the other spell that we had, to be honest. I mean, it's good that it's elementless, which might be relevant on some bosses that resist all elements. Uh, we got the thing there. I just wanted to make sure we did. So let's go through this passageway. I don't even feel like dodging the trap chest. I think I'm just going to take it in the face to save time. I'll be real with you. So we're, we're embracing the trap chest. So far, they haven't been really relevant. Like, they're not horrific enough for me to want to swap out. I feel like that would just waste my time. Like, that's, like that's my honest opinion. I'm just going to take it, take the damage, and move on. That's faster than swapping. And it does, like, no damage, so I don't care. Yeah, look at that. We barely took any damage. Little's missing from the statue's chest. You want to put it in? Sure. Now we should be able to go acquire the new weapon. Phaser acquired. Ooh. It already started with 70 power, so it's kind of like, look here, this is the new handgun that you should be using. Okay. Maybe that'll be enough to potentially deal with the final arena area. But we gotta upgrade it first. So we're not... I'm sorry. For some reason, I saw Teardrop, thought Water, forgot its boss. <laughs> Lucky card acquired, whatever. Okay, we're gonna put the other jewel here so we can progress further. Use another Prism Ray. Let's use... Not Guilty Blade, what's it called? Oh no, they... it is Guilty Blade, they're just separated. Uh, I guess Meteor Dive into... Eh, let's just Kirk Plus Plus them. I'm gonna say some MP. Holy Light, they shout. Did not do that much damage. These enemies are very weak. I'm pretty sure we fought them in other dungeons before. Nice dodge. Ooh, counterattack is actually huge here. Oh, unless it misses, I guess. Never mind. Not as huge then, chat. Well, let's see how much concentrated damage this does on one target. And that's the other thing, too. Like, as a single target spell, it's also amazing. Like, that actually did good damage for 10 MP. So when it split, it did 2,000. When it single targeted, it did 3.6. I'm like, I'm I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest with you. Oh, it's just a Mega Berry. Pouch acquired? What's a pouch? Two times money, 25% of the time. Um... He just has Nullify Paralysis on. I guess I could switch it to that. I do want money randomly. Alright, so I need a jewel. I mean, that's kind of exciting. I like getting more money, so I have to grind less for the weapon upgrades. Hydra. Hey, you suspiciously look like the arena boss. <laughs> right, chat? You very suspiciously look like the arena boss. Uh, let's try phaser on it. Uh, we'll try Divide Shot, and then I'm going to go for maybe Dogi Angry on Hunter. And then I'll Resta, I think. Too much damage this does. Oh. It only has 1,800 health? Oh, I could have just killed it. And this is why I don't like to use the other ability mid-battle. Wow, you know it's bad when Girl dodges the melee attack. That's just sad. That is actually just sad. Yeah, I was thinking it would have had like I was thinking it was gonna do like three thousand because it had six thousand health. No, it it has like no health, but it's worth six thousand experience. <laughs> right, chat? Like I'm doing the the hands in the air. Like okay. Why? Okay, like, okay, let, let, let's say that was, like, the rare uber enemy. Why does that have less health than the normal dungeon enemies here? 
Shouldn't it have like 4,000 at minimum? I I'm just saying, chat, like, we have fought normal enemies with more health than that and they weren't like the big bad. I don't fully understand that, but hey, we leveled again, I guess. I'm gonna use Fringing because it's cheaper than Resta. Hmm, multiple paths. Alright, so up there is progress, but this might be a jewel or something we need. Oh, I need to get another jewel back. Oh, did you want me to take the jewels out every time? That's actually kind of annoying. I guess we'll go back, chat. I'm assuming that's what it wanted. I thought it was kind of like, we put them in and we're done. And then we would get different colored jewels for different statues to prevent you from doing that. But no, just, just want us to do that. Uh, you know what? I'll Kirk plus plus. I'm assuming this thing will just die instantly. Don't you dare poison me. Yeah, we didn't learn a new technique from him. Hello, phaser gun. Miss. It's all up to you, Kirk plus plus. If this thing has no resistances, it should just die. Yeah, well, that one shot it. GG. I mean, that's a really fast way to level. <laughs> He's anti on ourselves real quick. So, at least I kind of know what to do. We gotta go back for it, though. See, chat, that's how you know I'm not using a guide. <laughs> he just brought the jewels with me. Oh, well. Yeah, Kirk Plus Plus has put in the work. Let no, what, let no one disparage that item. It has been so useful. It's still useful even now. Because it saves me so much MP. Yeah, because the 22 MP actually matters. Especially if I'm going to be saving up MP for things like Lifeguard. Slash Baywatch. Oh, new technique. Azer Zap has been mastered. Oh, this enemy is crazy dead. Get Kirked. The power of all the elements. Perish. Ooh, look at that damage. Goodbye. We'll do a single element to compare. So maybe we'll use Prismatic Blaze or something just to compare damage. I imagine it's going to do like 2k. Welcome in Parameter. Where did I put the other one? Let's do this. So we need at least one of the jewels to proceed. I guess I could put it in the other one first and see what that does. Yeah, like here, I don't even have to do anything. They're... See, this is like an example where like there's two enemies that are separated from each other and Kirk Plus Plus would kill both of them. Um... Uh... I mean, I guess I could see... Yeah, let's use... Oh yeah, see, this just hits a group, too. So I, I would have to use Lethal Pain here, comparatively. So that's another good point. So because it hits all, it's also super useful. Although the enemy ran away. Less useful now. Okay, Lethal Pain. How much are you doing to the enemy? See, that did le see that did less than Kirk Plus Plus. Can we all agree? No one... No one disparaged Kirk Plus Plus anymore. Oh my gosh, dodging please. I need like one hit to kill them. So sad. You really gonna make me shoot you? Eventually I should just analyze them with the Megatama to understand if they have MP to steal and then they run away anyway. A fight where nothing happened. So I can't remove that because that puts me, it gives me access to down here. How badly do I want to keep leveling is the question. Like sort of close to leveling with her. I think the Hydra makes it worth potentially getting random encounters just because the XP is so high. Yeah, his move only costing 1 MP is so stupid. I'm saving so much time with it. 
Crack plus plus should just wrap up this encounter. Just say GG chat, it's over. There's no way they're surviving it, especially with the sorcery upgrade. It's over. In fact, I shouldn't even Prism Ray anymore. Save the ammo for later. Kirk Plus Plus is gonna wrap it up. Look at that damage. Goodbye. So let's see if this just leads to an item. What well, leads to more of these? Interesting. So we paid one to get two. I guess that works. Come on, Hydra Battle. I don't think I've seen our money doubler work, but I'd rather have that on than Cure Paralysis right now. We can also take this. Throw up three jewels. Come on, Hydra. It even has like 5,000 per battle. Oh, uh, whatever. At some point, I'll have to Magic Carrot again, but hey, on the plus side... Actually, not even bother with that. On the plus side... We picked up a lot at the arena. Hopefully, at some point, we'll be able to purchase them, or else I could, in theory, just do the arena to get 10 carrots or whatever. Goodbye, enemy. Yeah, Meteor Dive is just so good. Oh, this is overkill. That poor enemy. GG to the enemy. 3,000 money there, not bad. Guess I'll use up my heal berries. Which I almost ran out of, funny enough. Uh, I think I need to use the switch here first, or put the jewel in first. Oh nice, potentially a lot of money here. So yeah, I mean this fight is just over. I don't even know why this enemy shows up. Let's just, I don't know, rob him in the face I guess. He might even just be dead here. Oh, he's like a little shy. Did good damage. There we go, money doubler kicked in, chat. We just got 10,000 off of that. Nice, so I could probably upgrade the arm quite a bit now due to that. See the save points. We have to getting somewhat close to a boss. I like that our stats are generally so high that I'm willing to just not even take an accessory for it. I guess when I'm in the arena, instead of Cure Paralysis, I could make it a... Uh, a Money Doubler or something like that, or a Defense Up. What they think would help him survive. Uh, I'll just have her cast a random spell. I'm assuming they're not surviving these. I don't know if face tank will stop me from one-shotting. We'll find out. Oh, it did. Interesting. Oh, Kirk Plus Plus was better there then. That's unfortunate. Another hand shot, her handgun cannon, whatever. He's Boldy. We haven't seen Boldy in a while. Save. 
do, 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 do. Save again. So I imagine either in this dungeon or the next dungeon we'll probably get a tool of some sort. <clears throat> which will be good for us. I don't have a sense of how close I am <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to the end of the game. But I guess we'll find out. We got the power glove. I'm assuming that's what the P is for. I'm going to be playing some NES games or something. The power glove strikes objects during travel. You can remove or push obstacles out of the way. It is so bad. Hmm. I mean, I guess I just try to learn a new technique while I'm here. Just hope, hope that Kirk Plus Plus carries the encounter. Kill. Ooh, we doubled our money there. Hmm. Not what I thought it would do. We'll take it in the face. Brochure acquired. Secret sign attained. Another secret sign attained. Um, at some point, I mean, oh, it is all attributes. Okay. I mean, that could be useful in the future. I don't know if I like it more than Guilty Blade, though. Hmm. I guess I can make Slash... Kind of like Divide Shot being cheaper, honestly. If we're going to be doing bosses, I think I'd rather have this cheaper. Yeah, let's decrease that a little bit. Oops. Please. I'm assuming I could grappling hook to this. That's why I'm trying to do that. Oh, I can't. But I can move this. Um. Okay. Do a couple more of these. Try to learn a new technique. Kirk plus plus. these enemies. So we're getting extra money for our arms. Girls level, nice. We have a couple extra safety levels for the arena, so I'm less likely to get one shot now. <clears throat> so that's kind of nice, because she was taking like, what, 2100 damage, I think, before on that other fight. So I think I could complete the second arena fight without necessarily dying in one hit now, which is good. Hunter leveling again, I think, puts him out of range and also increases his base stats. Hmm. Just thinking about where I need to go. Oh, 
Oh, unless it's something like... It... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I'm trying to think, like, we had to use the power glove there. It's like, okay. It's just weird because, like, we hit objects and some of them move and some of them don't. I guess if they're slidable, they move more easily than others. Let's use up the last of our healing here. Look at that. I had exactly how much I wanted. I use one carrot. Well, I don't even know if there's going to be a fight. It's, there's probably going to be a fight. Let me get 50. That way I could say, if I need to debuff and do everything else, it should cover that. Good call. What are you? Very goofy winged thing. Hmm. I think I just want to soften him up a little bit here. We're gonna go for divide shot, see if it works. I'm gonna go for... I guess wide open first. I don't care if he goes first. Oh, he's not even going first. Yeah, good thing I didn't response down. Game, can you please stop missing divide shot? I beg of you. That does very little damage. Although I sadly need to heal regardless. Uh, so now we've set up for big boss damage. Let's go for rocket launcher here into... Yes, phaser zap, and then we'll rest uh, into maybe a buff for the other character. Let's see how much damage this does. Didn't do a lot of damage, not impressed. Yeah, I think. I think compared to the arena, this fight is much easier, so I just have to kind of do whatever. Um... Does it even matter? I wide-opened him. I guess I could... Dogi Angi Hunter. Too much this does, comparatively. Yeah, like, it... It did slightly less, but it also only cost me 1 MP. I think it just I think it just like meteor dive, honestly. It's it's been useful the entire game. Okay, we'll try the slash rave briefly to see if it's even worth it. I think it's always worth going for at least one HP halfer. I don't think I want to slow them down. I don't think I care about that. Let's go for let's dango the enemy since that seems to do a lot of damage. In theory, I could, I could try to Chris them, but I don't know if they have a weakness. Are you silencing me? Don't tell me to shush. Oh, you, you silence the only characters it doesn't matter on. Cool. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, 4,000 damage. Okay. So let, let's try this again. So he does get silenced, but that lets me build meter, which I'm okay with. What, let, let's try using Chris in battle. Let's see if he ha if he doesn't have any resistances. This should do pretty good damage. Yeah, see, his melee there was about the same. So, like, yeah, that's fine. Meteor dive just seems to make me go faster than normal. Okay, I need to heal next turn for sure. Oh! Oh, do you see that damage? Get out of here. Get nuked. Perish. Time to get Chris. Perish, mortal. Yeah, we're putting ourselves out of kill range. This should just be GG. The damage is so high. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. People are sleeping on the spells. People are sleeping, chat. Tell them to wake up. Goodbye. 6,000 experience received, 7,000 money attained. I have a feeling that's not doubled money. Damn, why even, why even, why even bother buffing Hunter when we had Chris all along? 
We just have to hashtag free Chris. <laughs> then he deletes a boss. Holy. I guess that's what happens when they don't have elemental resistance. So that means Kirk plus plus would have done pretty good damage, but uh, yeah, the one shot is real. This must be one of the Gemini circuits that Professor Emma is looking for. We could get two of these Gemini circuits. Emma could complete the proto wing. Let's get back to Aldehyde. Maybe our good captain and his gang has found his second Gemini, or found the second Gemini circuit. Gemini circuit acquired. Portal magically appears. I'm gonna use fringing in case we get into one battle on the way to that warp. I don't fully trust the game. Um, actually, can we eek out of here? There we go. Saved us a walk. <laughs> that works. So let's oops back to Aldehyde. I can use my MP to get rid of the status ailment. Because otherwise it won't cure it. As we know from earlier. So I wonder if any places are worth revisiting now that we have the power glove. Guess we'll find out. If they're if we're gonna get a ship upgrade, hopefully we'll we'll, we'll do a full explore of every, everywhere. I think while we're at eighty thousand money. One thing that was kind of sticking in my head from much earlier in the playthrough, if you remember, chat, the game talked about the it's generally safe to travel. If you remember when they were talking about the L pyramids. I wonder if we could force them to malfunction and it'll force us to go to like a bonus dungeon. I don't know why else the game would tell me that if nothing happens. Do you know what I mean? Also, I didn't mean to go up this way. I got distracted. That's fine. I, w I actually wanted to see if the town upgrades were there. So we got one of the Gemini circuits already. You get to work it as soon as we have the other one. Professor Emma, I have an important message. Received a transmission from the team on the sweet candy. Continue. One Gemini circuit found, returning to base. Okay, so they found it already. Oh boy, we can work, start the work soon. This is Sweet Candy, Mayday, Mayday, under attack, requesting backup. This is happening at the worst possible time. Bartholomew says, gee whiz, what the hell is that? Gee whiz, chat, wow. Just as we found one of the Gemini circuits, we get this. Do you have any special weapons or something? This is a trade ship, not the USS Missouri. USS Missouri, what? What kind of reference is this? <laughs> I guess the United States exists? <laughs> I just... I just like the equivalency thereof. That's random. You haven't got a clue, have you? What? This is a game... This is a game? What do you, what do you mean that... Wait. Do you mean this isn't a game? <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh, just, well, we'll read it as is and then question the dialogue in a moment. You haven't got a clue, have you? This is a game. Should always carry a special weapon. Huh. Wow. Grab onto me. No, no deck on way. Or dog on, excuse me. My poor ship, the sweet candy. She's sinking. All hands abandon the ship. I suppose we're witnessing a future boss? Question mark. Did they did they make the Leviathan mad? Going full Final Fantasy style on us? I mean, I mean, this definitely happened in Final Fantasy IV. I'm just, I'm just saying, chat. They, they need to learn that ships are not good. <laughs> and we'll go into like the underworld where all the summons are. Jeez, I'm drenched. 
Hey, don't look at me. What happened? The ship is gone. Did you get the Gemini circuit? Is it okay? What a horrific creature. A stone mermaid. A stone mermaid. Okay, didn't see that coming. I'm sorry, we were too busy getting away from the monster. The Gemini circuit is probably at the bottom of the inner sea by now. Well, quick, get a submarine. So, the proto-wing upgrade will... I'm deeply sorry. Let's get back to Aldehyde so we can regroup our thoughts. Oh, my sweet candy. Rest in peace. The JoJo method of all transport is cursed, pretty much. So, the other Gemini circuit is at the bottom of the sea. My poor sweet candy. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Does this mean that all of her efforts were for nothing? Even McDolan did a good job. She's such... She's so unlikable. <laughs> Holy. Thank you, my lady. The Gemini circuits only work as a pair. I guess we have to give up on our idea, now that the other circuit is buried deep beneath the ocean. Too bad, dot dot dot. I don't know who said that. Don't give up, everyone. There must be another way. Okay. Candy. I mean, if we still get our ship upgrade to fly over mountains, we have a lot of places to potentially revisit. So, wait, what did you want me to do? Oh, pfft. did I got I got hard body block, Chad? Can we agree? He's playing defense in the hallway. He won. He beat me. He's better than me. Oh, so you're you're not giving me direction. Oh. Uh, I I guess. Well, <laughs> wild arms, find your own damn plot. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess we have to find an alternative. Can we do anything here yet? Nope. Hmm. Welcome, Major Rage. Okay, don't need to do anything here. Yeah, whatever happened to that secret thing that I got earlier? It never entered our inventory, right? No, I still have it. Never mind. See, do you have anything new to do? No. Nope. Do you have anything new to say? Nope. Uh. Do you have anything that I want? Oh, I want some of these actually. Don't mind me. Just gonna have ninety nine. Uh, do I even bother exploring? I think until I get the ship upgrade, the answer is no. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to try something before we go too much further. Where's an L pyramid? Might be over here. I don't know if it matters which one I try this at. I just want to see if I could like break the teleporter. Second. Now that we have the power glove. There we go. So like, if I, t well, we're going to take our little journey. If I step on this, don't leave and then punch it. Will this cause it to change colors or something weird? I'm just curious because I'm trying to think of how you would make it fail to take you to the right place. 
Because that was talked about, like, way earlier in the game. I'm assuming this is not what I need to do to progress, but I'm curious if this will do anything. So I'm going to choose not to move. I'm going to... Make sure I power glove on. Oh, it didn't seem to do anything. I mean, I can mash it, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's take it back. Hmm. Unless I have to do it at, like, a very specific one. Let's mash a chat. Uh, let me think. Where, where are the other L pyramids? I'm thinking. Uh, is it Malama or Baskar? Is it Baskar? Unless this is the one that is near Baskar. No, it's not. Alright, so this is a different one. So let's try it on this one. I guess I could save here. Then we'll proceed forward. Oh. You not you not have like a convenient save? Hmm. Oh there it is. Alright, so we're gonna mess around a little bit, and then I'm gonna try to figure out the plot in a moment. Take a look at our stats. Not too far from leveling. Okay. So let's take our flying ship and then just find the pyramid again wherever it was plus i don't know what this is for then actually can i do any oh no no can i do anything with this currently no i will right, we'll have to remember where this is later i'm assuming this will send us somewhere at some point ah here it is let's try it from this one Again, I don't know if it matters which one you try it on, or if it's just literally RNG. It would not surprise me if it was RNG, to be honest with you. This game has not been the most friendly with secrets or general general strategy. Yeah, yeah, life will dance in the sky, whatever. Like, do I have... Can I do it from here? I was hoping it would change a color to indicate whether it would take me to the right place or wrong place. So maybe I'm just wasting time. One day, chan. Punch, punch, punch. It's nothing to do with the glove, it's pure RNG. That's unfortunate. Punch, punch. Try a couple times here and then I'll move on. I'm gonna do it one more time, I'm gonna move on. Oh, 
Oh, I hate how much this game has been wasting our time lately. Between like that really stupid door puzzle and now this. Cause like, I don't even know if I can beat the place that it referenced earlier. It's kind of like one of those things. I'm giving up in one more try. I don't have patience for RNG nonsense that just wastes time. Because again, I don't even know if I can do whatever this is. Or if it's intended for like after arena I'm supposed to go here. So this will be the final try. I'm giving up. This is stupid. Ugh. We'll go back. Whatever. If the game wants to make it RNG to enter, I'm done. I guess we'll skip it. Hmm. Let's fly. Well, actually, we have to figure out where to go. Uh, I mean, I could go to ship, ship graveyard, I guess. It is called Ship Graveyard. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This, like, I started really liking the game in, like, the first half. I really feel like the game fell off in, like, the last, like, seven or so hours. It's kind of disappointing. Drop something important in the next to the ship. You'll always be able to find it on the beach of the ship after a few days. I think we found the other portion of it. This is it. It's the other Gemini circuit. It's true. Everything eventually ends up in this area. Sometimes I don't know if we're just lucky or what. We must take this for Professor Emma. That's right. This makes it possible to make the proto-wing modifications. Yeah, it's just like between like the really stupid puzzle dungeon where we're in like the illusion labyrinth and then just like a lot of time wasters. I just... It, like, it started so strong. It had, like, this interesting premise where you're playing as three characters, you got their story to converge, you see, like, the big bad, and then, like, the game just kind of stops giving you directions. But then, like, it's not in a sense where, like, it's you're free to pick your own path. Like, there's only one path to go. You have to find it. <laughs> it's just, like, you're just kind of arbitrarily sailing around the world or you're arbitrarily backtracking to all these locations. And, like, some of them make sense in context, but others are, like, you see a dungeon, but you can't do anything with it. You see another dungeon, you can't do anything with it. And you just have to find, like, the one piece of land you haven't been to kinds of things. I really don't appreciate that, honestly, in JRPGs. I'm like, just tell me where it is. Or, like, when we had the directions where she said, like, go southeast of here and you'll find the Gemini circuit, and it was east. It's something like that. I... It just... Ugh. I hate it so much. I don't like when the game goes meta like that. I feel like it was very purposely misleading. I don't even know what the intent was behind the illusion puzzle at all. We literally just ended up brute forcing. I got lucky and got it in like two tries. But it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, 
I mostly knew what it wanted, but not in a way that it would limit it down in a way that would help me. And it just... I, I just don't like it. Or like when we were doing the, uh, where they were doing the split paths and they were all having like the, they're seeing their fears dungeon. Like, did that really have to have like long stretches of hallways where you had to bomb over and over again? Like, was that really necessary as a dungeon? I just, there's so many things where I'm like, they have more interesting levels, like, even if they're like somewhat simple, like chasing like Zed through the dungeon to me was way more interesting than like half of the levels like after that point, sadly. Just because at least you're like interacting with the villain or something throughout. But here it's just kind of like we go to a place, we pick up an item, we don't really talk about it again, and it just enters our inventory. Like I just like we opened a treasure chest and they're like, I am the spirit of so and so, and then they're just gone. I'm just like, okay. I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Stuff like that just... It does not really turn me on to the JRPG genre in general. I guess we'll go this way. Oops. I got body blocked. Yeah. It's kind of like... It's one thing if, like, the game tells me... Like, here's here's the difference. When the game tells me to investigate, that's fine. I have, like, a direction. So, like, when we were told to, like, oh, we don't know where to go next, go investigate. That's fine. We talked to everybody in the town and we were given directions. I just think when it's, like, you have all these things and it's just, like, you're finding some, like, really arbitrary path for progression. Or, like, you didn't talk to, like, one NPC in some other random town to progress. That's where it drives me wild. <laughs> I'm just like, come on. I'm like, who do we got to talk to? It's it's one thing if the hint system is, you know, there. It's, it's another thing if it's like, you literally need to talk to some random NPC to advance the plot. Versus like, given hints as to where to go next. So now where do I take this? Oh, maybe I have to go back to her house, actually. Maybe she's not here. Oops, the bonk. Yeah. Hopefully if we play, like, if we do decide to do Wild Arms 2, I hope some of the spell descriptions are a bit more clear. Like, I think the... Take an example. Like, when I see Avoid Exhaustion... It, to me, like, I don't know, maybe it's just the way they translated it. Like, I'm used to seeing things like KO or death. I'm assuming this is just like auto life, for example, in Final Fantasies. But like when I'm reading some of the descriptions, they don't really tell me what they do per se. <laughs> that, that's my favorite one. <laughs> like, that's a perfect example. Like, we eventually figured out what this did, but it's like... Just kind of rolling my eyes on some of these descriptions. Also, why why did they change the description for in prison versus seal if they do the same thing? Do you know what I mean, chat? It's like little stuff like that that really bothers me when we play these games. Like the, this is just single target prison. This is multi target prison. Some of these descriptions needed a rework. I'm just saying. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like, I hope you never rename anything. Okay, so she is back at her house versus at the other place. Th that's fair. You found the Gemini circuit that was lost at sea. That's too good to be true. All right, now my proto-wing will become a full-fledged gull wing before your very eyes. I just have to get some extra help and then I'll get to work. Yeah, like some of them are fine. Others were uh, extraordinarily questionable. Each Gemini circuit is an energy amplifier. When combined together, they will achieve an energy that cannot normally be be gener be generate. Did she mean generated? Also, what happened to the dialogue? Is it me, chat, or is like the last 
session or so. The dialogue has been like a little off, like grammatically. It's important for even small powers to support each other. Whether it's machines or human beings, it's the same thing. Who are they? Colleagues of mine. They're from all over Filgaia, or rather... Six students of the old man's effort, says Matthew. Lelud says, Emma asked me to come all of a sudden. I had no idea you were making a flying machine. Norman says, It was always our master's dream. Tokenak says, This really was a sudden call. You're still a slave driver, huh, Emma? Nikolai says, Cowboy's needs are the world's needs now. Right, Emma? The Guardian's power in the southeast point is weakening. We need a vessel to take us there. We need to finish this machine before morning. Oh, 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 now now this time she means southeast for real. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> Whatever. I need your help to accomplish this. The midnight oil was burned. Dot, dot, dot. And in the morning, dot, dot, dot. I think we did it. Should test this thing out first. Once you're off, push the accept button to go higher. With this, you could travel to areas you couldn't reach before. Use the cancel button to lower your altitude. It's all up to you now. Okay, I probably want to save at some point. So aside from the mountain range I couldn't go get over in the southeast and the castle to the southeast, is there anything else worth exploring? I'm just trying to think about it. Into the heavens we go. I mean, I'm immediately just gonna save. <laughs> just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to redo that. I know we didn't technically do that much because we were just trying to find the plot, but I wanna have to go refind her. We have money to upgrade an arm, but if I'm not planning to complete the arena, do I really need it at this point? I feel like all the bosses at this point have been mostly easy. We had like one unfortunate status ailment boss, but we don't really have a great way to counter that. Like I wish we had, uh, what's it called? Like the cure abnormal status for party. I wish we had that. That would have made our life much simpler. All right, so I can raise and lower. Was there anything I couldn't reach? Hmm. Oh, maybe this. Well, that's convenient. I was just kind of flying around aimlessly. And then corridor. I need to duplicate her, which I do have. I got three or four. Excuse me, picked one up last time. This is Heaven's Corridor, a tower of gifts to those who want to attain higher magic from the ma Mage D. Sure. If there's random encounters, I'll take them for now. Alright, well that's one hidden area, I guess, out of the way. I'm trying to think if there's anything near, like... What was it called? Giant's Cradle? Because that, that whole place was mountain ranges and awkwardness to get to, so it's possible something is there. So let's climb to greater heights, literally. With our magic career. Needs another duplicator. Ooh. That's kind of painful. Doors are shut. Well, I guess we're going to have to start picking and choosing where we use our duplicators. Unless we start picking up a lot in this dungeon. Wait, is this seriously what the enemy is? That's it? Kind of disappointed. We've killed like 40 million of these. I would have thought they would have had different enemies for this place. Definitely disappointing. I mean, I could light magic and do like 9,000 to them, but it's really not ne necessary. <laughs> Yeah, see that chat? That's back when we were getting 1,200 a battle. Remember those days, chat? 
I mean, I'm tempted to just go invisible then. If, if, if this is all that's here and it's not like super tough enemies or anything. So I guess I will use another duplicator to get a crest graph. Oh, that's it? That was not a good reward, to be honest with you. There's literally no spells that I want left in the game. I was kind of hoping that would be equipment or something. <laughs> I'm tempted to reset the game so we don't lose those. But so far, we haven't really found too many extras. We've already burned two, and so far the reward has been a very subpar generation of enemies and spell slots that I don't use. Because we only need, realistically need like 12 spells in this game. I guess that's also kind of the downside of it. I'm not excited about like 70% of the spells in the game, like easily. Like I think in the white magic, there were like four basic spells and three advanced spells total that we use, like to give you an idea of like a four by four grid, like that is really not many. So like we, we have long surpassed our need to do anything here. Oh, I found a button randomly. I was mostly just checking to see if they had anything. To the Inheritor of Wisdom, do you want to read it? Sure. Why do you seek higher magic? I'm going to bring light to the world and go to the hidden nature of the obscured place. There the innocent must cast its light. Okay. So, I guess that's a hint to maybe shine the blue gem when we're in a certain spot. I'm at least hoping maybe there's a, like an uber enemy here, but again, if it's just prisoners... I mean, that was like so three continents ago. <laughs> it's like, they're just not even remotely close to interesting or good XP-wise. Yeah, these are all just the same enemies from like the continent. Look how little they do to us. Do you see what I mean? Like, go ahead, defense up, it doesn't matter. All gonna die to Valkyrie anyway. Um, it's a good trickster arbitrarily. Actually, did he need to learn anything? He did. Yeah, just end them, I guess. Oh, he actually did the ability. Cosmic Nova has been mastered. That was convenient. Holy symbol acquired. Eh, I don't think we really need those anymore. We need like maybe like 10 or so just to make just to cure her so she could cure others. Or on occasion, other people might need it. Magic of warding. You can ward off on when it gets by using magic that sends them back to the entrance. See Kyra magic, you should undo this warding gate. Okay. Pandemonium. Do you want to read it? There's an ancient demon castle located at the east end of the inner sea. Yeah, we'll go there eventually. The smell of a thousand year old evil still lingers on the desolate isle. I mean, I was planning to go there eventually. I, I have seen that. We just, we can't reach it because it's literally enclosed by mountains. Nectar acquired. Pandemonium, my favorite. Something like that. Man, you want another duplicator? Come on, am I really not going to have enough for this dungeon? Also, that was rude. Hmm. Let's see. So many duplicators. Rest in peace, duplicators. I'm assuming there's a way to get additionals because like we did end up with a lot of extras, but dot dot dot. I clearly don't have enough to do another dungeon like this if there's more than one. Do meteor dive. I'll do Kirk plus plus. So maybe it just wants us to walk to the side and it's just the game's way of again wasting our time. <laughs> what do you think, Chad? Is the solution just stand to the side? Like this is what I was talking about with Time Wasters, Chad, where it's like, is, is it really a challenge that you put a hidden trap down that I couldn't see and would not really know it was there? Is that really like the test of intellect there? Like, gotcha. Like. <laughs> This is the kind of dungeon design I don't appreciate at all. Like, what if I just do this? 
course. Right, chat? Like, uh, like I don't find... Like, okay, at least make me hit a switch or something to get rid of it. Like, come on. <sighs> kind of stuff annoys me. It really does. Yes. Oops. Actually, you know what? I should not walk to pick up that chest in case they put a glyph there. Oh, we find Oh, we're finally fighting new enemies. Okay. That that puts me in a better mood. <laughs> so I'm not in a good mood with the, the the RNG search of stuff again. Okay, let's see how much damage Meteor Dive does, because it costs one MP. Damage is okay. Alright, they're at least able to hurt us a little bit. Prism Ray doing its job. Thank you, Prism Ray. Killing one enemy, perfect. I guess I could technically upgrade to its attack power. I'm still using it in the late game. I just don't use it for, like, important battles. Alright, so to avoid potentially getting teleported for no reason, I'm going to use Hanpan here to grab this. Not worth it. Still not worth it. I did find a save, though. So at least if it re at least if it puts me back at the entrance, I'm just gonna soft reset the game. I don't think I'm gonna bother walking back. Like no thanks. So so far this has been like a brutal, brutal, brutal uh, use of our abilities. I guess my expectation is that it's either gonna be a weapon, or I guess we haven't technically unlocked our force ability with her. So it's possible that we get one here, and this was optional to beat the game. But again, if all we get is an upgrade for her, I don't know if it was worth it. Just because of the sheer fact that it's like, I don't need any new spells, unless this seriously upgrades her damage. Because how often do we get to force level 4 before a boss dies? Basically never. The most we usually get up to is like 3 and the boss dies. So it'll be kind of like a very disappointing <laughs> unlock for me, honestly. Oh, 6,000 XP though. That was slightly less disappointing. So Chad, I have an honest question. Why in the same dungeon, and am I getting between 1 and, 2, 1 and 6 thousand again? We should be at least getting an average of about 3k. If we fight more of those green monsters, that's fine. Oh, it's one of these. And I... I think I need to get him wedged in a way. Can I just... Oh, I can't do what I wanted to do. Okay. So in some things, you could kind of get him stuck in the corner, but I don't think I could do that with him. Hmm. Alright, so I think I need to get it stuck. I think I need to get it stuck a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. So potentially I could get it kind of... There we go. I was gonna say, if I get it stuck, I can re I can reposition without it doing anything. That worked, I guess. Don't you dare warp me out of here, I swear. <laughs> like chat, no. Hmm. So I kind of want to get it in that little groove. I'm just thinking about the movement needed. Is there something I could wedge myself on down here? Hmm. Oh, interesting. If I bonk, I can make it go. Maybe that'll work. Oh, never mind. It stops. Oh. Uh, Alright, so I, st I cannot... Okay, so I have to think about, like... How do I get it stuck in the wedge? Do I have to be in the wedge to get it stuck? It's like... I need to just manipulate, like, a little teeny bit. You know what I mean? Because I think it... I think if it gets stuck, it gets desynced a little bit. So, like, see how, like... I'm able to go a greater distance here than the other place? Hmm... Yeah, puzzles are not my strong suit, for sure. I'm just trying to think of 
how to get it in there. Like, ultimately, my goal is to catch it in here, but I'm trying to think, is there something I could do differently here that would offer me an advantage? Because I'm not seeing how to do this in reverse to get this in here. I thought there'd be, like, another... If there's, like, a little gap on this bottom half, I think I would understand how to do it. Let me think about this. Um... Is there something I could do movement-wise to get it to get stuck? Because I was wondering if bonking would make it go in a way that would help me. Because ultimately, unless it gets wedged on something, it's not going to help me. But how do I get it wedged when the other area is only like this? So I wonder if there's something I could do for, like, tighter movement. Okay, there we go. So it's just slightly tighter movement around the sides. So that's fair. I think I had the general idea. I just needed to get the movement down. Hmm. So I could desync it a little here. So I could desync either here or here, potentially. There we go. That one was a little easier for me to figure out how to desync. I don't trust this. Oh, uh, maybe I've got to use the, not the boss, maybe i got to use the tier here. No? Hmm. Nope. Oh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. So, sorry, he's in the wrong spot. You got me. He says, finally, my successor has arrived. Many trials have proven your worth. Shall receive the art of the ultimate sorcery. Must warn you, do not drown yourself in this power. The essence of sorcery is not the size or the effect of the spell, but the utilization of wisdom. Must purify your magic through wisdom. Hmm. My successor shall master the elements through purity and execution. Dual cast force acquired. Okay, so unfortunately, I think it was the thing that I was worried it would be. I'm just, I'm just not excited. Like maybe it would help on like the bonus bosses only, but this is not really gonna help with the rest of the playthrough. That was a little disappointing. Hmm. So, I guess the question is, where else can we go? So we got all that of spell glyphs that I don't care about. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess if I want to name more spells, they're there, but again, like, I'm not really going to use them at all. Is there anything over here? It's the old pyramid. There's like this little area in here. I guess I could see if something's here. Game, please. One day you will let me land in here. Come on. I know you'll probably let me. How precise do I need to be? Game, please. Can I not land here at all? Oh, because the area was there, okay. Was there something over here? No. Why couldn't I land there? Whatever. Ancient altar has been found. All right, chat, I'm just like, okay. That felt kind of arbitrary, but thanks. What's up on the ancient altar? This glitter is my power. The glitter of the guardian of swords that possess the cutting light and the power to defeat the demons. I provide you sorceress and fighter, the strike of Equitus. A sword strike that will sever the evil away from you. Sword rune acquired. Okay, but is it actually good? It's a lot of raw attack power. Hmm. Downside, it makes him slow. But it is a lot of damage. Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess I could try it. Well, actually, for normal encounters, I just want speed. Maybe for bosses, it makes more sense to do. Yeah, I think I want to stick to potentially... What was it? Ice Rune? Because it makes me tankier. But also, more importantly, makes me go fast. Because I don't think we have one that goes fast and does damage still, correct? Yeah, not really. Where ice at least gives some attack power. Yeah, I think I'll stick it to this. I think I value going first more than I care about a damage boost. Sadly. Hmm. Is there anything else worth doing? Oh. Well, I kind of remember this area. Game, please. Why can I not land here? Do you not like landing in green grass? Like, we. Nope. You just not gonna let me land? Just gonna. gonna roll my eyes. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing, because your items t are terrible. You know what, chat? I'll revisit the L Pyramid. I'm here. I might as well try it once. It'd say we tried in different L Pyramids and the game said no. I saved sort of recently, at least. The worst thing that happens is I gotta redo the other thing. Look at that mashing, chat. Yeah, we're gonna go back. <laughs> that way we can at least say we tried it because we saw it. All the mashing chat. So yeah, I think after this we'll go to... Not sure, I guess somewhere... I mean, it's presumably it wants me to go to the castle. Is there a point to going into the desert area? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, I almost stepped on it again. That would have been bad. Oh, well. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like the Vicky Oops and Suikoden, but like they locked a dungeon there for some reason rather than just random items. That's what I'm kind of reminded of. Let's get a formal save because we not saved in a while. We'd like to save our progress with the uh, dual cast and everything else so we don't got to redo that. <laughs> we'll go to our favorite inn, the Saint Centaur. Look at that, Chad. Free healing. Hmm. Anywhere else worth visiting? Surprisingly, we haven't been asked for another town upgrade, but it seems like it's waiting on something. So I could go back to Aldehyde at one point. Just to make sure it's like, oh, you didn't talk to this one new NPC that you to totally should know about in the town somewhere and check every time you upgrade. Okay, so this is a really big stretch of desert. Is there anything actually in here? Well, there's a sign. Let's read the sign. Oh, now you land in one try. No littering. Old weapons and used golems must be disposed of properly. Interesting. I wonder if this area is harder encounters. Ooh, this goes on for quite a while. I swear, if it's like prisoner, I'm gonna roll my eyes. Oh, new one. Shelzaris? 
Okay. Guess we'll just shoot in the face. That's our classic response to most enemies at this point. Okay, I didn't die instantly. That's a good sign. Died in two hits, though. 5,000 money! Hmm. hmm. I have nothing to do over here. Yeah, if we find, like, a super boss or something, I definitely want to save again. Depending on how much XP we got. I'll oops out, hopefully. And then we'll uh, get some nice bonuses. I think these are enemies we've fought before. We've definitely fought the vampire. I think we fought Cybergeist before. So, like, that enemy was worth fighting. I'm not sure if these enemies are worth fighting. I'm gonna guess they're all gonna die to Prism Ray. Oh, we actually missed. Darn. Well, hopefully Kirk finishes them. Goodbye. Yeah, that XP and money is not worth it. But... Ooh, yeah, not even close to leveling. It feels like they probably put a secret out here, so I'm gonna start... I'm gonna stop running every now and then to see if we get, like, a zoom in of the camera. In case they put, like, a hidden dungeon here. Do you know what I mean? Unless they said, like, hidden golem, so maybe there's, like, an actual golem boss or something here. Or a sandworm. Or armor drake, apparently. Hello. Uh, I guess... Why don't I try to imprison you with the bear trap and see if this works? Did not work. Purple electric revised. We've seen that attack before. Well, I went to do it. We did not get rewarded. I guess I'll just... Zap you, I guess? With Amp? Assuming you're weak to thunder. Flash lightning. Ooh, ooh, that did like no damage. Never mind. Apparently resistant. Never mind. Wrong. Well, you know what? We'll use Chris. Chris proved very good. Against the other boss. Let's see how much damage it does here. <laughs> Shooting the dragon in the crotch is funny. Oh, it's already dead. Never mind. We'll never figure out Chris's worth here. Ooh, 5,000 XP though. That's fine. Hmm. You have low expectations of your spell. Oh. So I didn't come across anything, but that doesn't mean nothing is here. So I guess I'll defend into just using Chris for damage and see what happens. Probably faster. Assuming this does full damage. 2000's okay. Let's compare it to... Do some normal attacks here with, uh... Dango. Or we'll kill it in general, and that would save us some time. So I don't need Dango to do a lot of damage here. Just needs to do some damage. It did about the same. The Chris is on par with one of our stronger spells. Yeah, so far I haven't found anything, but as I said before, we also went in like the Shifting Sands earlier and didn't find anything either. So I'm gonna do one last walk through here. And then we'll move on. I'll probably just oops back to Aldehyde to make sure we can't do anything else. And we can fly over here. Acid Bunny. Okay, well, I'm glad we decided to walk back here. Because that is quite a... Quite a thing to experience. <laughs> right, chat? Just okay. Well, let's see if they do okay against Kirk Plus Plus. Acid Bunny is restless. Acid Bunny runs away. Oh, so they run away really quick. So even with my fastest move, Meteor Dive, it didn't outspeed. 
but it did one shot. How much XP are these worth? 20,000 experience? Why even play with other dungeons? <laughs> so if I had gone first, there's something approaching from under the ground. Uh-oh, am I being punished? Uh-oh. We got sucked into a boss battle chat. Wait, what? Uh, this doesn't look good for us. I guess I'll try to divide shot. I probably want to reduce the response time. Maybe in trouble. I probably want to be able to go first here to react to what it's doing. But will I get a turn is the question. I'm assuming this is a super boss. That's not as much damage as I was thinking. Maybe we'll be okay for a little bit. Miss, of course. How much are they doing in melee? Oh, they're doing okay damage. Please delay them. <laughs> Chat, what can you do? Do you see what I mean about RNG in this game? That really irritates me. Well, I guess I'm going to potion bury him and then I'm going to... I don't know. I guess I'll start lifeguard- or I'll try again, maybe? I- I would love the ability to delay this enemy. It's not doing a lot of damage, so it's definitely easier than the arena. But, I would like one of my abilities to land. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like this is a big ask. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna continue to do... We'll do some pot shots with maybe Twin Orbs, because I don't care if it lands. I'm gonna go for Divide Shot again. I'm going to do... I guess we'll set up uh, Baywatch to make sure we don't die randomly. Put it on Hunter. Because he's likely to go first, at least. Please do damage. Worse. Okay, I'm giving up. <laughs> I don't know what the odds are of landing it, but so far it has not been successful. Uh, so he's protected in case they do a massive damage ability. That did some big damage. But not in a way that really concerns me. Um, so you could try the zap ability. Let's use Resta, because I should outspeed. So again, we got, we got insurance. Oh, that sound effect is horrible. The damage was also terrible. So we're gonna go for a defense down, I think, after this. I was hoping to just divide slash a few times, the so defense didn't matter. So anyway, I'm glad I guess we got decent equipment. Although, if they keep doing this, I can't... I can't defense down him, because he's gonna force me to keep doing this over and over. It's kind of unfortunate, actually. So I guess we'll whittle Barbados down. I would have loved to have had uh, defense down, but we whiffed the initial response down, so we're like behind in turns. Oh, they actually outsped me. Well, that's bad. Oh, that's actually really bad. Uh, Go for a full revive. I guess I'll panic heal. I got nothing better to do. Oh, that went first? Uh, sure, that's fine. I think I did the wrong order of items, but you know what, that works. Yeah, Landmaster doesn't do that much damage. Okay, we used one of our Ambrosias. Let's go ahead and do Fury Shot with this. Or, no, 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 I should wait a turn, actually. So I need the game to behave and actually let me defense down and land an ability. It would be really nice if the game behaved. So I would like to do Wide Open into Heal. And if I need to Panic Heal, we have a couple other healing items. If I really needed Ambrosia back, I could just do the Arena again. I really need this wide open to occur so I can do damage to this boss. Please work. Okay. So let's just focus on healing this turn so I don't die. 
We'll use... Mega Berries, I think, are good on Cowboy. Hunter could just use... Regular Potion Berry. Girl, if she survives, is just gonna use Resta. That should put me at a kill range on two of the characters. And ideally... Oh, I was gonna say, ideally it doesn't AoE again. See, this all happened because I missed one response time. This really sucks. Don't like the RNG. Uh, well... I can still recover this. The problem is that she's... Even with... Even with response down, she's not going before the enemy, which is why we're in this situation. So had we known that, we would have switched runes. Or had I thought I would be in a boss battle, I would have switched runes to give her more speed. And there we, therefore, we wouldn't be in this scenario. But I think I'm kind of in a lose-lose situation. I don't think I could get out of this unless the game decides to not AoE me. But it seems to repeatedly do that. So I don't think I have an out anymore. I mean, I can use Nectar because I don't care about that item. Um... I guess I'll go for a revive. If it kills me, it kills me, because there's nothing else I could do to get out of this. I have to go for the revive on somebody. And if they happen to kill me, then I'll just give up. It's just more annoying that... Okay, now you're single targeting. That's fine. Okay, now we have a chance to get out of the loop. So we're going to go for healing on... Girl. I'm going to go for healing on himself she needs to rest uh, and then i need to go back to damage so kind of annoying to be in a boss encounter like this oh he outsped well good thing i'm not that injured so i guess depending on what attack he's doing i sometimes outspeed that's fine so what we're gonna do we're now gonna use fury shot because we got the defense down I'm going to maybe try Slash Rave. And then with her, I'm just going to rest every turn. Because them randomly doing like 1700 is a problem. That did no damage. I don't like Slash Rave. We're never using that again. We're just experimenting to see what does damage. That did 9000. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I thought this was like its AoE. This AoE doesn't matter. But at the same time, I don't have, like, another character that can AoE heal. Because otherwise I'd have them heal, then I would set up lifeguards. But I'm not able to do that. I guess we'll Sonic Vision for damage. We'll just rest it again. So now I shouldn't be able to lose, as long as I only rest a... At least I lowered their defense, so I should be doing big damage here. I'm a little sad we used the Ambrosia. But I think it was just due to literally bad RNG. Like, see, had he just Acid Missile before, we wouldn't have been in that situation either. So it's just kind of like one of those things where you gotta shrug. Like, the boss just arbitrarily did its best AoE twice in a row, as opposed to just doing that once. Or even just doing a single target attack. So it's like, did I really get outplayed? I guess. The game rolled better, just arbitrarily. Yeah, it really is just RNG, how well I do in the battle. Um... So you watch. I'm going to rest again, and he's just going to do his stupid little acid missile instead of, like, the big nuke. Our damage is okay-ish. So yeah, Meteor Dive is out damaging the multi-slice. Oh, this time it didn't even attack. What? So Landmaster is really slow. Okay. Thanks. I now have to heal that. That's actually kind of annoying. Alright, so we're going to do this into... I guess I lifeguard on herself as the backup. That way I can actually do other things. Because that way, no matter what, I can come out of this. Okay, so she is now protection against this nonsense. I can continue to do damage here. Honestly, Hunter's damage is not really impressing me right now. I'm going to use his turn to heal... Actually, nobody. Nobody's that injured. Uh, I guess I could just do a normal strike. Uh, 
I guess I could try one of these other abilities to see if it does more. I was not impressed with this damage so far. I guess I can see how much Psycho Crack does. Do I go for dual cast? I don't have a lot of MP. Oh, you know what? I don't have a lot of MP. I would rather have Hunter use a carrot on her. So that way I don't need to worry about that later. So we'll try dual cast. So we'll go for probably something safe, like A watch on Hunter, and then something offensive, because I can't use it again. We'll do something like I don't know, let's let's just use Chris, whatever. Let's see how much damage this actually does. So you have two characters with the revival. And then we should be stable. So two characters now cannot die instantly. Oh, it healed it. Okay. So it, it does absorb elements. That's good to know, actually. So we're not going to bother using spells with her. That almost killed me. So it has other attacks we haven't seen yet, which is interesting. I'm going to use his own heal blade on himself, and I'm going to hopefully rest out of this. So let's hopefully he gets through not needing it. Okay, so now we survive. So I still have two anti-deaths. Okay, so let's do another Fury Shot. We'll do a Sonic Vision, and I'm gonna go for a Restless. So next turn I have to use a Carrot. There we go, we killed it. Eight thousand experience, girl went up a level, disc dims acquired. Well that was random. Rip our ambrosia though. That that's all it adds. <laughs> that was so not worth it. Chad, I'm like face and hands. I'm like, seriously? That was it? I got this? I'm never meleeing with her. Oof. Well, I I guess I'll save our progress, I guess. I don't think that was worth it in the slightest. Yeah, like, that wasn't good money, the XP wasn't that good, the weapon payoff was terrible. I mean, like, I at least needed to, like, raise sorcery or maybe magic resist? Like, get, give me a little something to make it, like, I'm assuming what is her ultimate weapon. Not even, like, a response time increase? But just, like, raw power on a character I don't melee with in general? Like, that's not useful. Disappointing. I mean, I'll save the boss kill, I guess. So I think Barbados was shown off in the uh, festival, if I remember correctly. The one they won't let me go back to. I believe that was one of the mechs there. So I guess the implication is that after it got destroyed, they threw it in the desert. I don't know how they reached it from there, but I'm assuming it's that. Or that, uh, in general, maybe there's more than one Barbados, like there was the earlier models. Then some construction night, can't get to sleep. And among the four with many natural defenses, no one could go there. Most of the ancient challenges for the Arctica. Hearing strange noises at night sounds like scratching. Wonder if the professor's up to something. Take ruins of places people can't get into. Yeah, so none of these people are helpful. So, surprisingly... We haven't gotten far enough in the story to upgrade the town again. Because it, it seems like we can, and they don't seem to be advancing it, so we might be plot stuck. So they're looking for suitable land, so... Question mark. Oh, so this was the hint for the uh, Great Mage D. That's fair. Like, again, that's fine. Like, I didn't need the hint to go there, and it was not required for plot. That kind of stuff is fine. 
I'm totally fine with having optional exploration for optional dungeons. Or if you talk to everybody, you get the hints. Like, that's the stuff I want to see. I don't want to see, you know, some of the other things that they've done to progress the plot in this game. Love when they told me to go to the southeast. So there is a castle here. Arctica Castle. Strong doors shut tightly. Oh. Can I... Can I power glove them? I mean, I do punch them. Okay, I was hoping this would be something to do, but apparently not. I did remember this place, but sadly, nothing to do here yet. Love the little crater. Can I revisit the crater? Photosphere. Oh. I am Rig Dobright, the guardian of the stars who fell into Filgaia with the metal star. Use my power to save the world if you believe in what starlight is cast upon. Uh, okay. Star rune acquired. I guess I could have had this earlier. So what does the star rune do? It's a small increase in speed, but everything else goes up. Maybe girl needs that? Because there's a 124 for 435. I guess I'll do this with her. So she'll lose some magic resistance and damage, but she goes faster. Maybe that's what I want. And it's better than the Love Rune I was considering. Well, Love Rune gives more magic, I guess. Hmm. I guess I care more about her response speed at this moment than I do damage. Let's let's leave her with the Star Rune. Do I want Cowboy to take any of these? I don't think so. I think he just I think he just needs the response time as high as possible. Hunter could potentially get a nerf if I need him to. Okay. So, she got slightly better blocks. She'll take more magic damage, but hopefully her going first more often means that the enemies will not outspeed her. She's about where we were before. Yes, she's only a little bit behind Cowboy now. Maybe that'll be fine. I mean, we did get, like, a super item for damage, so I don't know if I super need to be at max sorcery or not. Guess we'll find out. We'll try a couple battles, see how they go. Um, Was there anything else I wanted to do? I guess... Oh, what's this area? Seriously? Why? <laughs> right? Like, why, why can I not step on that? That's so sad. Why have this island if I can't land here? What's the purpose? What a tease. What's this weird squiggle, by the way? Oh, it's the tail end of the other... Wait, no, it's not. What? Hold on. Let's go this way. Oh, there's like a squiggle here on the map, but not visually. When we fly over it, interesting. Hmm... It's a little map banner. There are these little islands over here. I was wondering if there was maybe something hidden on these. Let's explore them again one more time. Or maybe there's like a super rare enemy, like we fought the other Barbados thing randomly. See, Garums are like decently challenging, quote unquote. Maybe this is the right idea. Maybe one of these islands has like a super boss. Look around a little bit. Rip the enemies. Hmm. 
Yeah, because there's kind of like the three islands down here. I feel like maybe they were intended for something hidden. We'll walk around a little bit and then move if I don't find anything. Ramp to strike. Io content? That's new. Try to do some damage on these. We'll go for this is a jail. On you, maybe? Try to kill one of these normally in case they're like super tanky or something weird. Hmm. Did not succeed. We'll go for it again. I'm gonna go for a rocket launcher here in case this is like a super boss. Because this is a jail again. Because they are taking quite a few hits, which has me a bit worried. Still haven't killed one of them, that's not good. Come on, jail the other one. Oh, it's not working. Human experimentation. Those are words I don't want to hear. Ooh. Ooh, that is nasty. Um, okay, we need this fight to end, like, now. I'm gonna cast Anti, and hopefully we can get through this. Please kill one of these. I've been doing decent damage every turn, but... Oh, we actually hit them, surprisingly. Okay, their damage is okay. As long as I don't get ultra unlucky and they do other abilities. Direct Voice doesn't seem to do anything yet. Although I'm a little worried. Oh, it does cause Confuse. Oh. Okay, so there is like a super enemy here. So I think I have to heal you... And we're down to RNG again, whether or not this works. So if he survives, I'm just going to try running from the encounter. Okay, that's good. Never mind, we're good. So we should be able to survive a double AoE here. Nice counterattack. We might need it. I was trying to high prison. In my defense, like, I tried that a lot. And we've been doing some serious damage to the other enemy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm absolutely going to Fury Shot this. I want this out of here. Thank you for the follow. C-Tone. Or C-T-Tone, excuse me. We're going to go for... This is a jail again. I'm hoping we can jail them. I'm assuming they have something really good, or else why would these be so hard to kill? Please die to Fury Shot. <laughs> right, chat? Please die. They survived a Fury Shot? How tough are these? Prison didn't work again. Wow. Oh, hold on. Her melee weapon, it did damage. <laughs> yeah, I think this is over. Oh, wait, no, I can double cast. Maybe we can survive this. Rest, uh... Into... I don't even know what would save us at this point. Maybe Lifeguard? The Baywatch ourselves? Cool. Please don't kill the girl. Okay, we get another turn at this. And she has one escape from death. So we have an out. Hunter is no longer confused, so I think I want to use his Sonic Vision. Hopefully this kills. We're gonna go for... I, I guess Space Tank to reduce melee damage? They seem to melee decently often enough that it might make a difference in survival. Like, this thing has survived a Fury Shot and two level fours. That's kind of crazy. So this should aid our ability to survive. So we might have to come back here later. <laughs> Assuming we win this. Well, you crit the wrong target, sadly. That would have been really good earlier. Um, I guess a normal strike here into another Resta. I mean, maybe I actually have to de- No, let's go. Let's, let's play it safe. Please kill this target. We've done so much damage to it. All right, we're out of kill range. Base tank didn't lower it by much, to be honest. 
Our whole party being confused here might be GG. Girl still has a turn. I would love if one of these actually worked, please. So he cured himself. Hit the right target. The one on the right is the most damaged. The one on the left is slowly getting damage on it, but it's not that close. Man, if we can imprison this. I don't think it will let me, though. I mean, we're apparently in the fight of our lives, so I'm going to rocket launch her again. I'm going to... Sonic Vision U, and I'm going to Resta again. We're going to have to use a carrot, I think, at this rate. So I'm trying really hard to kill them, Chad. I'm using my best abilities. <laughs> it's still alive. These things are crazy tanky. Thankfully, we didn't fight three of them at once, or else I think it would be GG. Okay, we finally killed one. That's good. I could focus on offense now. So we're going to make them wide open, I think. Do some hand cannon shots. Tell me he's wide open. We're still gonna go for the imprison. Because if it happens, this could be huge for us. If we could get a guaranteed item from this. So we've done a little bit of damage to the boss. Uh, I'll call it a boss at this point. Let's face it. This is this fight is much harder than half of the other things we've done today. We got a little lucky. This could have gone almost Barbados-y in a sense. It's like just slightly less damage than Barbados, and that's why we didn't die instantly. Um, I'm just gonna Resta into our next ability. So now we just gotta lay on the damage. I mean... I think at this point... Oh, you know what we should do? We should definitely Lucky Card. There is no way this thing is not worth XP. With how long this fight is taking, there's no way. We're definitely Lucky Carding. There's no way. If there was ever an opportunity to use it, this would be it. Actually, let's make sure that Cowboy does damage and then you use the Lucky Card. Alright, so let's see how much XP we get. Ooh, that did very little. That's unfortunate. I need her to get unconfused at some point, or else we'll be in trouble. So we're going to use a basic heal on Hunter, maybe? Oh, you know what I should do? I should unconfuse with him. Your confusion. Use your ability to heal yourself, and you should outspeed, so this should be fun. So that should put me out of kill range. She can ignore death once, so I don't need to necessarily heal her yet. Alright, uh, that's fine. Oh, she's counterattacking? Look, chat. Our weapon upgrade did damage. I don't really care. Um, Use hand cannon again. We're going to use another sonic vision. I'm going to... No, we'll dual cast. We'll do Resta into prison. Maybe we'll get them with it? Okay, you know what I can also do? I could try to trickster with Hunter. Not that it's very likely to it to work, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So, does not seem to be imprisonable. I've tried multiple times. Either just very unlucky or just not possible. Uh, we'll do, we'll play it safe this turn. I'm just gonna heal Cowboy like this. I'm gonna go for trickster, which I could probably reduce the cost of, to be honest. We'll try one AoE heal into prison, and then I'm just going to go for actual damage. Couldn't seal, so it does have something. So ideally, if we could have prisoned, that would have meant that I could have gotten the item guaranteed. So we might not see what the item is, sadly. So I think I should definitely secret sign, because this might be worth robbing in the future. And using 4 MP is a bit much. A one last attempt at bear trap. Trickster at least does like a little bit. Oh, duplicator! Hey! Okay! Okay, that's how we get spare duplicators. I guess we found out, chat. Okay. That's good, because we burned a lot in the other area. So I think we're up to two. 
So I wish I tried that a little earlier. Actually, chat, this is the first time Trickster got us a useful item. <laughs> chat, round of applause. It took till like level almost 38 for it to not just be empty, 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 couldn't steal, mega berry, um, potion berry, and ma magic carrot. Good job, you did it, Trickster. It took you to literally the, bo the bonus island to be useful. <laughs> round of applause. Does the Vite Chat work on this enemy? Guess we'll find out. She's low on MP. Do I even bother casting spells? I don't think I do. I guess I can analyze. Let's analyze with Megatama. I mean, if this works, this could be a lot of damage. Yeah, it. Of course. It took it to literally the optional super enemies for it to be useful. That's so sad. Uh huh. Le level 1, allegedly. 8,000 health left. Lots of MP. Weakness is none. So it did have 28,000, which is kind of crazy. So I think overall it had more health than the other boss. So if I rocket shot here, it should die. You know what? I'll even melee as the girl. We're going in, chat. So he just needs the land fury shot and this is over. What a fight, chat. Holy. Random encounter, please. 80,000 experience, chat. Wow. <laughs> chat, what? Like, isn't, isn't the XP we get in the other dungeons completely insulting to what we get in the overworld? Not even remotely close in rewards. Cowboy is leveled, Hunter is leveled, Girl is leveled. 60,000 money. Another duplicator acquired. <laughs> Now, unless it counted the one I stole earlier. No, it 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 did it, it didn't, because I went up to three. So we got a random drop duplicator and I stole a duplicator. So we went from I think one up to three, if I was doing math correctly. But either way, I'm happy we're back up to three. We're not at two, we're not at one. So we kind of undid the other dungeon in one battle. So in case we need this for another bonus dungeon. Well, speaking of which, let's reduce the cost of Trickster. And then I guess I could secret sign slash rave if I really want to. I think trickster being one, it might be more useful. Although eventually I need these to go down in price if we pick up any more. I guess I'll lower slash rave by one. That way I can maybe fit in a couple without needing magic carrot mid boss battle. Wow, that was a struggle and a half to get through, but we did it. So let's go back to Aldehyde with our hilarious amount of cash. I mean, maybe it's worth trying the arena now that we've done this. Maybe. I have enough money to get like a super upgrade for sure. The extra levels means I have more response time and overall HP. So hopefully it shouldn't be as horrible. Yeah, we went from like 2300 with Hunter to 2700. That's pretty huge. Girl's now outspeeding Cowboy, which is funny. So their overall response time is up. Cowboy's health is still pretty good. He went from 3200 to 3600. So I guess we'll go back there one more time and use our last card at some point. Just because that would mean we could skip all encounters for the rest of the game. Yeah, we literally went up two levels with one of the characters. So let's go upgrade our equipment. We have spare money in case there's another uh, construction thing. And even then, we could just do that fight again. So human experimentation was kind of brutal. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. But we managed to get through it. They fortunately only used it once, so we got kind of lucky there. But I'm hoping with the new response time there, we should be good. Okay. So let's upgrade the accuracy of the rocket launcher, so that way we could use it normally. Can I get more bullets? Nope. So rocket launcher is completely maxed. Prism ray? Sure. We use that on random encounters, it could be useful. So that should be good enough for now. 8,000 for a bullet, I'll think about it. I think I want phaser to be stronger. How much does this upgrade want to do this? 25? That's pretty significant. Yeah, 30, that's pretty good. 
So we're getting another boss weapon here, chat. I think we could say. So now with this, maybe I can see what the next phase looks like. Another 35. Another 30. Oh, 40. Ooh. Ooh, chat. Ooh. Oh, fan yourself. 315 on phaser. Ooh. I think I want another bullet for sure. See, now this tells me I can probably do the arena, unless the other boss is just hilariously unkillable. But at least I can say we have a gun literally reserved for them with 11 bullets, which I hope would be enough. But yeah, that's a significant increase. Goodbye all of our money, by the way. Rip our money. But I think it went to a good cause. Uh, Let's do this to reload our ammo. So we have enough to enter the arena. We have a really strong gun now because we did the card on it. How many more secret signs do I have? Oh, I have two more lucky cards. I could just do that fight twice and then do the arena. Maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll say we'll say screw doing the plot, Chad. Hold on. We're going to get our revenge real quick. So I would like to do that same fight we just did, but this time with better levels and more MP. Since 160,000 experience will probably level me again. Yeah, it's going to level me again. So no sense in struggling in the arena when we have two very easy ways to level. So we're not necessarily going to be level 40 when we go there, but it'll be pretty good. So like, in theory, we could do it at like level 30, but do we really want to leave ourselves beholden to RNG of whether or not the boss does a super attack? I personally don't. So hopefully we get one of those again. At minimum, we could try it with just one battle if we fight those again. But yeah, I have a feeling this new response time is pretty huge. We went from like 120 response, by the way, chat to like 127. So if we get to like 140, I think we just outspeed some of those bosses completely. Yeah, prisoner, we don't care about this. We'll just hand cannon you. Um, at least now Trickster is basically free. There we go, chat. She meleeed first. Poor cowboy. Even with the speed up, he's so slow now. So we have enough to restore our health and do the battle there. We're gonna go for maybe one more of these. I doubt we're gonna find anything as much XP as this gave. I had a feeling something was up with these islands, because like, why else would they be here? Ramp to strike, perfect. So we are going to... Probably just use our rocket launcher as is. And we're going to... I think I just want to do damage here. I guess I could trickster. That would be important. Let's try to... What would help us the most to get through this? I guess I could get the lock state going. So that way we're immune to their status ailments. Maybe that's like the strategy against them. Hopefully we get the item. Got a duplicator, nice. So we should be immune to status ailments now. Now that we understand what they do. And now we just gotta do wide open. So we're gonna do a trickster on you. We're gonna focus on just one of them. Couldn't steal, but that's okay. We got another duplicator. So we basically undid the bonus dungeon. And we reduce their defense, so this should go a little smoother. Okay. And again, our defense should be much better overall, due to just the free level up. Yeah, that did much less damage compared to before. So we're just going to keep using rocket launcher shots, and then I think we'll use the double damage one of the other thing. Or I could just use the other one as is, I guess. We'll trickster you again. I'm gonna use a rest of here just to top off. Didn't get a duplicator, that's fine. So yeah, now we're out speeding them, which is a huge, huge benefit to us. So I think switching her over to speed is useful to us. That way we don't get behind them in turns. We should be immune to this, because I did lock state. Or it only works for a turn, cool. 
<sighs> the, the moment you feel like you have a counter, you use the spell for the first time, you get excited, and then it just doesn't work. So sad. I guess I should <clears throat> heal blade her to cure her of confusion. I tried, chat. Four thousand damage. That's pretty big damage. Might just keep using phaser as is then. We use that again. Would like to trickster you. You really need to heal. I don't need heal every turn, but. Got another duplicator, nice. So okay, so we undid the effects of the other dungeon. When we get down to one, I'll use the card. We'll focus on damage on this other enemy. I kind of want our counter attack rate to go up. So funny enough, I think that white magic to cause counter to occur would have been useful. So let's go ahead and fury shot the phaser. Hopefully it hits. And we're going to just use a regular heal on him. And then for her... I guess I just hold on a turn? I don't think of any of these other things are worth using. Good full heal with the ability. Is Guard using a dummy? I mean, I could see if this works. We haven't tried Meat Shield at all. Maybe it'll block a melee hit? Please land. Ooh, 999, nine, nine. nice. So yeah, now we have two boss guns. I feel pretty good. And for normal encounters, I could just use the handgun as is. Everybody but Cowboy got confused. That is really bad, actually. Hmm. I think girl needs to live. Ooh, please don't kill her. <laughs> Alright, Jeff, please don't kill her. There we go. Man, they were they were going in on her. Can we talk about that, chat? That is not okay. Uh this might be GG, actually, because I can't unconfuse them. Because they already hit status full. Because I was planning on using it literally the next turn. So unless they get cured like right now, we're in trouble. The best I could do is kind of stall. Nice dodge. And he misses. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, I think we're dead here. I don't think there's anything I could do. Because the only out I had was status green, but it I literally can't get it because they both maxed. Because I think Confuse just takes too long to get rid of. Please don't target Cowboy, or it's definitely over. I'm just resetting. Hitting Hunter is fine. We could revive him, maybe. Oh, now the dummy activates. Too late. So we could try to cure him, I guess. So he goes later. So maybe I could do could do a double cast. Let me think about this. No, let's do damage. Let's double cast. Hopefully he... Oh, but will he die of poison? Because he's going to go first. Oh, I just don't know. Alright, what I'm going to do... I'm going to Baywatch her... And cowboy and then I'll just revive him if he dies oh that did no damage actually all right this this should be safety so the other enemy is below half health now for sure yeah dead I guess I can anti him wow the dummy is actually putting in the work that was much better than lock status I think we could agree like that dummy blocked two different hits what a god what an actual god. Dummy OP chat. <laughs> oh, I finally missed. I can't believe he actually did it. Oh man. We're gonna Fury Shot this. I guess this should be good. Then we could do Sonic Vision. What's this about, Jane? Yeah, pretty much. She's arrested here. So I think we stabilize. I just have to use a uh, lucky card, and then we're good. I am so surprised he lived three turns, poison, confused, diseased. But anyway, we managed to turn that around somehow. 
So this thing should not be close to death. So what we're gonna do, we're going to do another phaser shot. Oh, I could just do a rocket launcher, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna make sure we burn our card here. And then we're going to, I guess... I don't even think it's worth using any of these abilities. I mean, so we, di we did learn that Meat Shield is actually useful. So I guess I could just put it on random characters. It seems to last forever. I'm assuming it takes X number of hits. So I might as well just be randomly immune to melee attacks. Yeah, like see, oh, it finally broke. So it took three hits, chat. That's a lot of healing I don't have to do. So potentially I could do like a, a safe, or uh, I could do Baywatch into that potentially just to make a character immortal. So that might help us on the final arena match, but I'm assuming the final arena match is absolutely nonsense. So I'm expecting to fully die there, but at least I could say we have a strategy potentially going into it. Do I bother puzzling them? I don't think so. I mean, I might as well just dummy them again. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it again. It, it, it seemed effective. I can't really see the indicator for when it's active on somebody, which kind of sucks. Like, they don't seem to have, like, a thing on the bottom near their name or anything to indicate it's active. Yeah, that should stall for a lot of turns for us. Ooh, half of our party's confused. We'll go for Heal Blade on Girl to unconfuse her. I guess that's the use of Heal Blade. When, when you get hit by this many status ailments, it's worth using. If whoever targets, this kind of sucks. Hit her again. Uh, I'm gonna Heal Blade again. And then she could just... I don't know, meat shield herself? Oh, so she cured the status ailment normally because she capped. That's fair. Anyway, they're basically immune to melee at this point. Or just dodge a general, that works. Let's go for another phaser shot into Sonic Vision, into dual cast of something. What would be fun to use? Anti-magic fields... Uh, it put bomb on somebody just to see what it does. I, I don't know. Or why not? Just put them on random characters, who cares? Might as well see what spells do since we're at the end of the game, presumably. Given the fact that we have free roam of the overworld. So if either of these characters get hit, I think they get punished. This enemy should be almost dead. I did do 9,000. Oh, it's doing this. I don't think it'll work. Hmm. I'll do just a normal heal here. So we did burn some of our revives, but again, I feel like these fights are going to be way harder than what the final boss of the game is going to be. So I'd rather just use our items here. At least we're immune to it. Let's go ahead and use Heal Blade on our damage dealer. That should put him in the safety zone. Oh, she actually bonked. She killed with the melee weapon. There we go, chat. Cowboy leveled, hunter leveled, girl leveled, 60,000 money, duplicator. Nice. So how many duplicators are we up to? We were at three. Went up to six. So that's proof that stolen items don't count towards what we get at the end. So that feels pretty good. I feel like I have enough if there's another bonus dungeon. I'm assuming we'll use between 2 and 4 in the bonus dungeons. But yeah, we're now level 40 on most of our characters. So she's a 2500... So she has more health than what Hunter had going into the arena earlier. And she's a 132 response. So she's literally at Hunter's speed from the arena already. Just from response alone. I didn't look at the other stats. That's the only one I really cared about. Hunter's now at 140. So this should help a lot, I think, without getting completely bodied by the enemy with their moves randomly going back and forth. But yeah, this should basically be over. Their sorcery is 461, which isn't bad. So I should just always outspeed the enemy at this point. So we're going to hold on to the money in case we need it for upgrades later for Aldehyde. 
but at least this saved like literally hours of grinding because see we're only getting like 2,000 money a battle so the fact that we got 60,000 in one go is kind of huge and again we now have a gun that seems fairly good so it would let us get further in the arena and on top of that our damage in general is just better so let's try the arena once and then I think we'll take a little break for today for Wild Arms. We did not get super far in the flood, but that's fine. Let's go to Ancient Arena. Hmm. Is there anything else I want to try to find is the question. Six duplicators. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? Hold on a second, chat. Hold on. Hold on, big brain. I wonder if we can power glove that mirror thing we saw up here. Let's find out, chat. Get out of my way. Remember this up here, chat? That little weird mirror on the second floor? I wonder if we can punch it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it needs duplicators. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Five duplicate. We got six. Chat, this is so convenient. This is convenient. Oh, man, I'm getting rewarded for doing that. One. Let's see what it is. Two. Three. Four. We're gonna go back for another duplicator later. Five. So we use five in a row. This is a warning, not an idle threat. If you value your life, turn around and leave now. If you proceed, you will feel the wrath of the Illusion King. Okay. Uh. I guess we'll save. I don't know how hard this is gonna be. It's possible we're going to get into one-shot territory, and it'll be like, Ha! Huh, if only you had 3,500 health to live! In which case, we'll do another one of those battles. Because I think we could get ourselves up at, like, another 100 HP. If if we're, like, just a little shy of not getting one-shot, we'll do it. I'll, I'll continue a little further. So yeah, we're, like, low... We're like low 40s and the level 30s, so arena should be pretty easy, minus whatever the final stage is. Because again, we got a brand new gun, it's upgraded. We have like 600 more health than before. So I'm not as worried about getting to stage 3 anymore, especially since their, their brutal attack should no longer one-shot. That'll make a big difference in RNG. But what what's back here? Uh, let's see, we got... Our best equipment on, correct? Do I just want her to get raw stats? Yeah, she's probably fine. So I guess we'll go see what the Illusion King is about. See how impossible this battle is. So we definitely need more duplicators. I think chat can agree, we need duplicators. Only a fool would enter the realm of Angle Moa, the one destined to unite the world. The castle of Illusion King sleeps there in his universe. Okay. Well, time to go wake him, foolishly. There is a psychic force attacking. Do you want to sit it out? No? Okay, so you can leave. I am Angle Moa. I am the demon lord who is de destined to rule the world. At least I'm supposed to be. Why would I want this messed up place if it does not benefit me at all? I was napping because I was bored, but if you want to fight, I'll fight you. I warn you, though, I'm tough. Okay, let's see how tough this is. Oh. You have a weird design. Uh, let's start with some rocket launcher. In theory, I could trickster. I should probably try to divide shot once. Let's go for, uh, Baywatch on the girl so she doesn't die. How much damage do you do? Let's find out. That's not terrible. 
course it misses. So anyway, she's got one anti-death thing on. 1,293. Oh boy, that's not a good sign. I wonder how much HP this has. Right, chat? Like, hmm. So that might take a while. Most bosses seem to have between, like, 30 and 40,000 health. It's possible it could have more. It They seem to scale the defense based off of that. What I can do is maybe heal blade with him. Then the girl can focus on getting another Baywatch out on Hunter, maybe? So the seventh moon. Uh-oh. How much is this going to do? Oh. Well, that answers that question. We're not quite ready for it. <laughs> We're very close to surviving it, though. We're going to accept our death here. Wait, does it twice in a row? Wow. So if we have 2,700, we will live that. So that, that was what we like to call in the business a stat check. That was a stat check to see if we could do the boss battle. So even with me reviving, unless I grind like 30 million dolls, which is boring, uh, <laughs> we don't have enough levels for it. We're pretty close though. You can see girls within 2,500. So she's like two levels away from doing this encounter, which I think chat can agree is not that bad. Like reasonably, we could hit this before the end of the game. So we'll come back. We used our duplicator, so it means at some point we'll go farm the other enemy. I want to see how hard this arena fight is first. And then we'll do another uh, grind in the south. So we now have a much better weapon. I've gone up several levels. I didn't find any new armor, which could be a problem, but we'll see, I guess. Just use Meteor Dive, and then you just one-shot here. So again, she's got 2,500 health. She's got literally 500 more compared to her 2,000 HP self. This should just be an absolute one shot. Yeah. She's even doing more damage with a fast rune setup. So even just her overall damage is better still. She's doing like another 200 versus the enemy. So again, just constant upgrades. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to exit on this battle, take the stat increases, go fight the other thing in the south, and then we'll do this for real. How's that, chat? Because I want to make sure that we give ourselves as much of a chance of winning this as possible in one try. We'll do... I guess I could trickster you to see if we get anything. Let's go ahead and... Actually, does guard... Does meat shield block his main attack? Use meat shield on ourselves. So he still goes first, which is unfortunate. So we're protecting her from normal bonks. Our damage is okay. So Cowboy can potentially potion berry. You should probably potion berry yourself. Let's reduce his speed. I have to give him the old five year treatment. So again, he should be able to survive this now, even if he gets targeted here. Or they'll just not target the girl, that's fine. Counterattack for some okay damage, okay. Five years, let's slow him down a little. Of course it didn't work. So Chad, about that RNG, <laughs> about that about that ru completely ruining this strategy because nothing works. Oh man, I gotta do this again. Well, at least he's fast enough that items outspeed. That's always good. This should be immune. There we go. So yeah, that prevents three damage worth of attacks. So if we dual cast that on him, it's kind of brutal. The only thing that might get through is brutal attack, but I think we're otherwise immune to him now. So I'm going to go ahead and save some ammo by just doing regular shots here. Actually, no, no, no. I said I was going to leave. Let's just use phaser then. Uh, try Trickster again into... Guess more Meat Shield. Meat Shield is actually somewhat useful in this fight. Let's put it on him. Couldn't steal. 
He's now immune to the bonk. We can see how much damage Phaser does. 4,000 is a lot. So again, our counter attack damage is higher. I'm not expecting a whole bunch of damage there, but it is nice. Let's heal blade him, and then we'll meet shield cowboy and see how this goes. So I should just be immune to him now, unless he brutal attacks. Which I think I'm okay with. But you can see this. Oh, he really missed. Okay, we're immune to the bonk. Uh, let's just get a phaser shot in. We'll do another trickster. I guess since I have protection, I might as well just go offensive here. Let's let's see how much damage Chris does. Maybe we'll steal something of interest here with our higher levels. Oh, got a secret sign. Nice. Eh, 2000 wasn't great. It did damage, but we I think we could do higher. Let's see. So that does not protect against the brutal attack, which is fair. The cowboy, I think it just fury shot and it should be over. Just in case the battle continues, I'll high revive. I had a feeling it only worked on normal attacks, but the bosses seem to do it enough that it's okay. Oh, Dino Kune, that's right. And again, if they're at full health when they revive, like with this ability, they survive the one shot. So I think our level is about where the game thought we should be. So probably one more attack should kill him. Sadly, he did lose the protection from earlier. Uh, I guess I will do... I don't know, there's not really a great follow-up that I like. I don't like Slash Rave at all. So I could try Psycho Crack to see if it does different damage. Let's dual cast and just try to nuke this enemy from existence. I think it's almost dead. We'll do Dango and the Dango. Like, it's taken at least 28,000. It might have taken more. Let's find out, chat. Oh, actually, Chris did the same. Actually, Chris did more damage. I take that back. We were underestimating Chris there. Oh, it didn't kill. He could kill Hunter. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I'm not reviving him again. We're gonna use Phaser again into... I could try Hellcleave, see if he does different damage. And that killed. Rip Hunter not getting the XP. And we're going to leave for sure. Nope. So we're gonna get the apples. We're giving, so we also more importantly got generic healing. I think I'll need for later. So let's go use these apples. We'll do one more fight at the other place. I still don't know where Black Pass is used. So we're gonna give power up to Hunter so he does a little more damage. Mystic up to the girl, because it's free damage. Hardy to the girl as well, so she can tank hits. Agile to maybe the girl again? Because I think her going faster is more important at the moment. Okay. So we got most of our money back. I'm just gonna rest here because I don't really care about money. Blah, blah, blah. So we'll do one more fight to the islands to the south. And that should put us out of pretty much danger range of the arena. It should just be GG, I think, at that point. Reload our ammo. Save the game, so we're gonna do one fight to the south, try the arena once. At least we could say we got some decent stat upgrades by doing this. And then if not, next time we'll focus on plot. Or maybe maybe we'll start the session off by me just RNGing into the bonus dungeon. We'll see. I guess it depends on how the arena fight goes. Whether or not I feel in the mood to do it again. Um so I'll just walk out of here. I'm assuming it put the ship over here. It did. Let's get some money back. Some hand cannon. We'll do meteor dive. And we'll do... I can't this is a jail them. I could bear trap them, maybe.
It did work. Hit Cowboy for not that much damage. So I guess I can Lucky Shot them. <laughs> Unless Trickster just straight up kills, I guess we'll find out. We're gonna do Find Gold on them. Let's see if this kills. Has nothing. Yeah, it does kill. That's sad. Although this kill, this would be pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it did literally zero. That's so sad. Rip. I tried. Don't know why it makes like monkey noises when it gets hit. It's kind of weird. Another 5,000 in cash. That should keep us safe in case we need like 80,000 or 100,000 or whatever for uh, the final upgrade. Where am I relative to the islands? Oh, too far. So yeah, this will be the last real thing that I quote unquote grind out, I think. Because I think with these levels, I should just be able to do the bonus dungeon as is. Because that'll put Cowboy at about 4,000. So Cowboy already can't get one shot by that other boss. The other characters arguably still will. Um, I think it's okay to use a rocket launcher shot here. We'll go for Guilty Blade, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I could still bear trap. Them dying randomly would be good for us. Yeah, that damage was mediocre. At least we seem to be fairly consistently imprisoning those enemies. I mean, I might as well just kill them with the, the loot. Yeah, her having more overall MP is also useful. So I don't have to carry it as often. Yeah, just a guaranteed potion berry. Also, we really need to sort our inventory. The only other thing I'm thinking about is, like, Black Pass. Like, do I just use it in general? I'm just making a note that we haven't used it. Hmm. So it's possible, like, we have to find it in a town randomly. In which case, I probably want money regardless. just these enemies. So we don't really have a hint as to where it is, but we could probably find it if we really wanted to get it. If I had to guess, it probably gives us access to, like, goat dolls, because we haven't seen those in stores, and maybe some of the better healing items. Oh, this should be GG to them. Nice. Goodbye. Prism Ray got upgraded damage, there's no way surviving this. Thank you, upgraded Prism Ray. So it's possible... Hmm... Oh! Wait, I think I know where to use it. Wait, I think I actually know where to use this. Let, let's check that out before we do the arena, actually. If I remember correctly, there was something weird in Aldehyde. Maybe it wants me to use the card there. Uh, What do I do first? I guess I just stick to Rocket Launcher. We're definitely going to Trickster, because we used a bazillion of these. Um, I probably want to... I'll use Baywatch on Girl so she could live. Didn't get a duplicator. We'll go for it. So she has protection in case things go bad. Rocket launcher doing okay damage. So 10 more of those and it'll kill, but obviously we'll do a defense down at some point. That did not do enough damage for me to care about that, so we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do Trickster into probably Baywatch on Cowboy, because he's got the most health, in case we need him to survive something. 
I'll use Rusta, I think, no matter what. Also, we're outspeeding the enemy completely here, which is good. So that means our level up's paid off big time here. So yeah, definitely gonna use Rusta next turn. So he's not landing what we need him to land, which is a bit sad. I'm gonna switch to Phaser. I'm gonna keep using Trickster. I'm just gonna go for Rusta here. Because this will give us, I think, all the duplicators I might need for the game, but we'll see. Because again, that last one used five, maybe another one needs four or something insane. But at least we should have more than one. I think we can all agree on that. Okay, so we tank that. Nice counterattack. So yeah, now that we're out speeding them and our defenses are better, like, see, she only took 600 from that. Just like super, super good how little she took from that. So it seems to be a magic attack based off of that information. Um, Let's wide open him and then I'll heal next time. Still couldn't steal, unfortunate. Good. Big damage. So now the triple damage shot should do 999, which will save us time. I definitely want to rest it now. We're gonna go for another phaser into another trickster. And hopefully he lands this. I'm a little concerned he's still not landing this. Come on. I might actually have to switch targets because I'm afraid of actually killing the enemy. So we are doing a decent amount of damage to him now. I think he could take one... Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. So we need Healing Blade to be used by Hunter. That way I don't waste extra time with this. Girl can use... We'll dual cast... I think we'll do... Meat Shield... Meat Shield? So I should be basically immune to this fight. This should buy me a lot of turns. So even if I get confused here, it shouldn't be the end of the world. She still has a revive. Hunter being confused is kind of annoying because I need him to do things. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push bury him. I'm going to use anti on him. And hopefully I get to actually take his turn. Oh, of course he cured it. I, I couldn't see what his meter was because it skipped his turn. That was unfortunate. I did not remember what it was the turn prior. Uh, that is not great. Okay. Please? You know what? I'll do triple damage on you just so I don't just keep holding meter. And I think for you... I'm gonna try an accelerated trickster and I'm gonna use Resta. Please land. <sighs> Alright, Jack, come on. RNG! RNG! So even if this doesn't do max damage, at least I'm doing some damage to this enemy. Oh, it still did max damage. Wow, that's crazy. So we did a third of its health, basically, in one shot. Ooh, everybody got confused? That's really bad. I mean, at least I have face tank on and a revive safety factor. So I can heal her. Please don't target him with this. This would be so annoying. Hit her again. So she is just completely done. There's there's the face... Or not face tank. There's meat shield activating, which is good. So we're going to just do, I guess, normal damage here. We're going to accelerate a... Heal blade. Just to make sure if he gets status ailment, he resets it. So she'll be back at full. I can wound the other enemy a little bit. I really just need him to land steel. It's so unfortunate that we're doing this. Oh, now she got condition green. Okay, so we'll do some low damage here just to build meter. I will hopefully land trickster at some point in this millennium. Come on. We need these items. I'm pretty sure we do if we're going to do another place. 
Holy RNG, please, right, chat? Why? Why is it so bad? Do I risk not getting a key? I mean, he's whipped this, like, what, five times in a row? It's pretty bad. I'm just gonna slowly whittle them down. I'm gonna use Accelerator again. I'm gonna target the other enemy. Maybe, maybe it'll work better. We'll do a wide open on them. You know what? I'll double cast. We'll do wide open into... Let's see... Probably do a Baywatch on Hunter? I don't think I put a safety on him. Please steal. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, seriously? RNG, please. Chat, this battle would have been over like four minutes ago. Barely an exaggeration. I've been holding back on like seven different attacks, all of which would be doing 4,000 plus damage. I'm even using hand cannon instead of the real damage. Game, please give me this item. I actually need it. It is not not negotiable for me to beat this without it. Otherwise, I have to do this again, which I'd really prefer not to. For the obvious reasons that we're not getting it. Come on. I'm very tempted to look up Trickster Steal Rate. This is insane, chat, how bad it is. I think we can all agree. I mean, that like, you should not go like seven plus times without receiving it on like an optional enemy. I'm sorry. To just not be this bad at landing it. Well, I'm getting low on MP. That's actually kind of annoying. Um, Is there anything for me to even do at all? I guess I could cure confusion the old fashioned way. Come on. I just wanted to do a quick fight and this is turning into like a marathon. At this rate, I'm actually convinced he's going to die to Trickster before I get this item. Just so sad. So Cowboy can, I guess, Fury shot the other enemy again. Just to speed this up a little bit. Just please land Trickster, I beg of you. It's clearly not based off a level, because we would be landing it more often if this was true. It might be based off of luck and speed, but those are, I think, the same as the last time we did this? Holy... So we did a little more damage. I get hit with all sorts of status ailments there. That's not good. So the battle is stalled for so long that I actually am in trouble. This is so sad, chat. <laughs> oh my god, he whiffed Trickster so many times. Oh no. I think I'm gonna be in a loop where I can't do anything. They just keep using direct voice. That is so sad. I mean, fortunately, I have some protection against this, but she's very low on MP. I was literally going to take the next... I think it's over. I think we wasted all that time just because he didn't land his damn trickster. Wild arms, please. I mean, I have revived, so it's not like completely over, but this is really bad. Okay. Can I get a turn back, please? Can I please get a turn before somebody dies? Apparently not. Okay, I'm just gonna start ending this. This is just taking way too long, and I'm like almost dead due to them being super stupid. Uh, I'm going to Mystic. I'm going to Resta into a... Can't do a dispel there. Let me do a meat shield on Hunter. Like this is crazy. I don't think he landed a single one. Yeah, he's not landed a single one. I'm just gonna get the kill. 
the sadly chat i wanted to get the other duplicators which we'll probably need but the game has just decided arbitrarily i am not able to attain this for whatever reason so i'm just gonna go kill them now at this point since this is taking just way too long one dead Hopefully we'll get at least one from random drops. Hellboy, I think, can waste a turn by using, um, what's it called? The last lucky card that we got. I can use Trickster again here. And then I guess I can Magic Carrot once to stall, maybe? So this is like one of his last attempts possible. Okay, we finally stole a Duplicator. Holy, that was like nine in a row that whiffed. So unfortunate. So we're at least at two duplicators. Maybe that's good enough. Just go for the kill here. Again, that was really not necessary from the game. I guess I'll try to kill the enemy with... Uh... Actually, I think it's immune to it. Let's put Bomb on Hunter. Why not? I'm assuming it's close to dead. I did another 9,000 to it. So I think it just needs like another 4,000 or so to die. Yeah. Okay, so we did get another duplicator. So I'm at three. It could have been worse, I guess. So it's like I stole two. I think that's okay. So... With all that, we're up to three. Hopefully that'll carry us for the rest of the game, or else we gotta come back here. We're going to actually just park our ship somewhere. I'm just gonna teleport. We're gonna oops back to Aldehyde. So we're going into the arena potentially with this extra level. The cowboy now is above 4,000. Girl is almost 2,600. Hunter is 2,900, so I think he could survive the other boss now. It's mostly just girl whose HP needs to go up a bit more. So we're definitely gonna rest. We could choose to upgrade our weapons. Like the arms and stuff like that. But I just wanna check one thing, chat, before we go further. We have a lot of money. So potentially I could make some interesting decisions here. Yeah, remember how it said there's a slot to insert something? Remember that chat when I checked this out the other day? I wonder if it wants the card. Okay. So we have a sword upgrade. 27 attack. That's a downgrade. Gives a magic resistance. Interesting. Maybe. If you get, oh, there's the goat dolls I was thinking about. So we have four revives, something to increase our luck. We could just buy these generic healing items, which I think I will. So let's at least get a small armor increase. We'll probably find better later, but that's fine. So I want to give ourselves an okay chance of beating the arena. So it's possible that this matters. Um, sadly, he doesn't have a weapon slot to do. So we'll equip it for now. I could buy, like, 20-something dolls. Again, that feels really cheesy. I really prefer not to beat the arena that way. Because they definitely seem extremely, extremely overpowered. I just feel like that's kind of lame. How to win it. Um... With him, if he's doing the arena, there's something better he could be wielding. I mean, I could just give him a goat doll in general. Um, I think I think it's okay to use like one doll on him. I don't think that's like super cheesy. I could always re-equip him later if I need it. I'll keep everybody else the way they are. Because we at least earned that one. I didn't buy it. We got it from the arena. So I'm like, okay with using one, potentially. Although, actually, I don't even want to start his combat off with that. Is there anything else he could get immune to? Maybe... Probably paralysis is probably a thing I don't really want. Or confusion. 
I make him immune to disease. Hmm. Enhance force increase. Actually, let's try that one. Try that one. So we have a little bit of cash. I guess I could see if there's a small upgrade I could get for her arm, just to give herself the best possible chance. And then we'll try the arena once, see how it goes. And if not, we have everything to do a bonus dungeon later. So can't upgrade that more. And get another bullet. Okay, that's huge. So that one's maxed. And another bullet. Added 2% generic hit to the phaser. That's good. Okay. So now I could just use it versus the boss normally. I think it's huge. Can I get another bullet before we go? And Okay. So we gave ourselves two more bullets. Better accuracy. So I can use that without necessarily fury forcing. So maybe this is good enough for the arena? So I literally came in with like 13 more ammo and we increased our weapon damage. I'm not really sure how arm damage is calculated, but at least our counter attack should be better with the boy. Because those sometimes matter. So let's teleport, I think, to the other place. So she went from like 250 MP to 286, which is not bad. Let's go to the ancient arena. And hopefully with the armor upgrades, that'll mean that I take slightly less. So let's say, let's say hypothetically, if I'm taking 2,700, if that reduces by like a semi percentage, it's possible we could survive the boss up there with that small armor increase on the levels. Like the girl was already pretty close. And we saw like the difference between like 66 and 300 wasn't quite linear. It did seem to do like a percentage less of damage because she was taking half damage compared to the other characters. So them getting like 10 or 12 might actually make a reasonable difference. But we'll see. Okay, anything else I'm going to try before we do one arena attempt for the day? I don't think so. I could make him have the power ring if I want to or whatever for more damage. It's not a terrible idea. Just don't know if I want to make his response that slow. Uh, I might need him. I might need him with fast response just for items. When we're out of here, I might switch it so that he goes last going forward. Because he's still faster than we were before we did the levels. But I think for the arena, I specifically want to keep the speed. See, so yeah, we're coming in. We have stronger weapons. I've leveled again. We'll just use regular hand cannon here. Use that. Then we'll just do a quick little dango, see how much damage we do. So again, our damage is just going up and up and up, no matter what. So she's doing another 200 on top of that. So her spell damage is definitely better. So it should be less of a grind in case the final enemy is very tanky. And who knows, maybe our general response time means he outspeeds this enemy without response down. We'll see though. So we'll start off with a couple of, I guess, weaker attacks. I don't think we need to use our good stuff on this enemy yet. We'll go for a divide shot here, and then I think I'll go for a slow down ability on this character. I think I'm going to tell him to wait five years. So we dodge. Didn't get a counter attack though, that would have been useful. If this does 999, this will save a lot of time. It missed, unfortunately. Okay, made him slower. Which might make him more susceptible to Divide Shot, now that I think about it. We'll try one more time. So let's go ahead and proceed to do a little bit of damage here. Another Divide Shot into, we'll say, Wide Open. Is this possible that... Because I think response time is also Dodge. No, it didn't work. Oh well, we'll stick to damage then. So I figured before we get the defense down, we just stick to basic hand cannon shots. Save ourselves some ammo for harder fights. Brutal attack, how much is this gonna do? It did a lot, but not like insane amounts. 
we'll do a single rocket uh we'll do a phaser shot here we'll do a meteor dive or i could just go for nah let's not greedy trickster that, 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 that's too greedy we'll do a simple fringing to keep them high in health reduce our mp costs so we should die in like five turns at this rate i think based on how many times we killed them before Definitely. Prefer if we counterattack at some point. Thank you. Okay. Might save us a turn. So we'll do probably just another. I guess I'll just do a lock on with Wind Orb. Just to save some ammo, but do more damage. Then we'll do a. It's another meteor dive because it costs us nothing. So therefore, I don't have to heal. Could fringe on Hunter. Probably should do that. So again, we're keeping our costs low. Because this enemy is pretty easy. We need to have ammo for the final area. So using like one phaser I think is not a big deal. Just need to make sure we end this with like near full health. So again, this enemy has like I think literally 40,000 health. So just need to do that much. Oh, it's gonna hit girl. It's annoying. She didn't die instantly, so that's nice. We'll do a single rocket launcher with lock on to make sure we don't miss. Let's do sonic vision and she can fringe herself. So fortunately everybody's going pretty quick. So this fight should be pretty pretty much over in like one more move. So let's just make sure I'm at full health first. So that's good. Her defense improvement I think mattered. Hopefully this kills. Ooh, not quite. Bonked her. That's annoying. Oh, counterattack. <laughs> if that killed, I would have lost it. We'll do a meteor dive. As I said before, I'm trying not to end this with low health. So hopefully, this does not kill. Good, it didn't. This will hopefully kill. And if not, it's not the end of the world. Again, this is why we have the extra ammo. I'm trying to save most of my phaser for the final fight. So hopefully we get a fringe in here and it doesn't die. Is him being at this low health might be a problem. Please don't kill. Get it in kill. Because he's got way more than enough max health to survive, I think, most of the nonsense. <sighs> I'm getting punished for my greed. Alright, fine. We'll do one lock on of rocket launcher. Are you happy game? We use Hunter to accelerate a basic potion. Make sure he gets healed. And then with her, I think I could just afford to do some damage here, maybe. Well, you know what? I'll double cast it. We'll do Cryo and Boldy. Let's see how this goes. I just need to make sure he's above with like 2,000 health. It doesn't need to be, like, full health, but a little better would be nice. Ooh, that didn't do a lot of damage. I was hoping for a little better. Ooh, that did kind of bad damage. Hmm. Maybe that won't kill, unless we're lucky. Yeah, it was just... It was too low. I was hoping that it would do 2,000. I should have gone for the more damaging spell. Do another one of these. Do twin orbs into... Maybe just another potion berry on him. And we finish this though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use Meteor Dive and I'm just gonna use Fringing on her. I think that uses less resources overall. And if he dies here, it's not the end of the world. 1900 should be good enough. Yeah, this will be good. So if Cowboy kills here, this would be perfect. Because again, everybody's health is really good. Ooh. Punish for greed. Oof, I got punished for greed. Greedy, greedy. Alright, fine. I'll use another rocket launcher. You happy game? Because again, I want to save like eight or so phaser shots for the final one, so I can burn all my rocket launcher on the next fight. I just want to make sure phaser is basically there for us. Uh, we're gonna Nino Kune him back to life because sh she should go first. So this is still fine. I'm at max health. So in a way, 
If this kills, this would be beautiful. Because now I'm at literally full health across the board. There we go. Okay. So for this one, we just need to make sure we go first. So I think we could beat this challenge. I'm just not sure about the final challenge. This'll this'll make a decision on how much we need to quote unquote grind. Because we did two basic battles to basically power level. And it put us at a fairly good position. So again, we're gonna keep it simple in the beginning. Because I don't really want to waste our good ammo on this. We'll do Meteor Dive. I think I want to say five years to give us time. Okay, we're still out speeding. That's a good sign. So there's at least one character that goes first. And she also still goes first, so that's really good. Disease, I don't really care about. Might have him just cure it on himself, honestly. So let's go ahead and do, an do another hand cannon while we build meter. You could cure disease on yourself. And let's go for wide open. Again, our MP usage is okay. I might use the magic carrot in this battle to prep for the next one. So hopefully this lands, so that way we can start doing big damage. Okay, that's good. I mean, if all it's gonna do is disease, chat, I, I think we could both agree. I think, that, I think that's okay. Honestly, like, I have a lot of medicines. I don't think I care about this. Um... Is there anything else I want to do to potentially pump damage? I guess I can uh, Dogi Anki Hunter maybe for more damage. Okay, that did some big damage. Before we were only doing like 2,000. This shouldn't be too bad then. So we could do probably just another rocket launcher shot. Hunter can almost use this ability. Let's use Sonic Vision. We'll use Arresta here. Because he's been buffed in damage, so this should do good damage, hopefully. Yeah, 4,000. That's pretty good. So he builds meter pretty quickly, thanks to his accessory. So I'm more likely to get accelerates in case we're desperate. That did not do a lot of damage. Oh, wow. He took shameful damage from that. Yeah, we're gonna do another rocket launcher strike. We're gonna do... I mean, I guess I could try slash rave again. We're gonna use her fringing, I think, on herself. Next turn, I think I'm gonna use magic carrot on girl, so that way I have the most MP possible for the next phase. Oh, yeah, that did okay damage that time. The slash rave with a small MP reduction matters. It's big damage. So I think I can triple damage our phaser to possibly kill this enemy. So we're just like one turn away from it happening. Then we could use his Sonic Vision again. And now I can double cast with her. So I could do Resta into... Hmm. What would be good for us? I guess Lock State. Okay, did, did as much as our other ability did. So next turn, he can use Carrot on the girl. His MP is also okay. So we should be immune to status ailments if he diseases. We should be able to do big damage next turn. And I still have a lot of rocket launcher shots left. Oh, well, unfortunate it did that attack. So in which case, I definitely want to make sure that we Carrot here. So we're absolutely going to phaser this. We're going to Carrot her, because she has to rest up. The way our MP is still doing okay. So we're in like the 170 region, so I don't need to worry about it for a while. Everybody's basically back at full. This should be basically 10,000 damage. So I think a quarter of this enemy's health, roughly. On top of the other damage we've dealt. Yeah, that's really good damage. So definitely really good to have come back here with the phaser. So I think I'm going to do the same thing again. I think I'm just going to continue with Rocket Launcher. Uh, Hunter can Sonic Vision, I think, for damage. And then I'm just going to have her rest it again. And if the boss lives again, I'm just going to use Magic Carrot. So again, this is pretty much like a free level 3 every two turns, thanks to his ability. I did not want to win that battle that fast. Uh, that's... 
kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. I'm kind of low on HP. Um, I guess we'll see what it is. That is kind of unfortunate that I kill I was not expecting it to die on that. I was expecting it to kill on the next one. So I guess I should have HP managed. Okay, how hard is this fight? So we need some absolute desperation heals on everybody. I'm gonna have everybody heal themselves because I don't think they'll live otherwise. And then I'll have her cast maybe Baywatch on herself. The enemy went first. And it killed him. Mm, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so she's got protection for a turn. Hellboy should survive a hit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use... Full rev I have one full revive left. I want to save that for another boss. I guess I'll do revive fruit. Ooh, this is not good. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. I did not want to start this fight with less HP. So this is kind of not a great position to be in. Uh, let's rest it here and see what happens. So she'll die, but we'll see how much damage... But she'll come back. So now I'm here. Okay. So now he's revived. I don't know if this boss has an AoE attack. It hasn't showed it yet. I'm going to hope that it doesn't. I'm going to... Is there anything I could do? I still have bullet clips if I really needed ammo, I guess. We're gonna use a phaser. You need to just heal yourself immediately. I don't have any mega berries left, which is unfortunate. I think he has to use one here. And then we're gonna have her hopefully slow this enemy down a little bit. Okay, that's good. It targeted our character with more HP. So this is fine. Held to wait five years. Of course it failed. So unfortunate, chat. Huh? Oh, big sigh. When when you have the strategy down, but the game goes, no. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna rest it no matter what here. I think I have to. So he doesn't die from this at least. Okay, so we're gonna have him start doing damage next turn. I would have loved to have the response time down, but I could just go for damage. So we'll do Meteor Dive here. <laughs> yeah, it knew what longitude and latitude is. I'm going to hopefully slow it down again so I can finally get in a good rhythm with it. But if it whips again, I'm going to be very sad. So he should be able to accelerate his own healing. So this is fine. So now that he's lived a turn... Oh, he did no damage. So yeah, he could just heal himself all day. Please slow this character down. Thank you. Okay, so we're guaranteed to get the heal here. So what I'm going to do is Cowboy's going to shoot again. Hunter is going to accelerate a heal just to guarantee that he heals himself in time. And then with her, I'm going to say they're wide open, and I guess we go to kill the boss. So I think this might be Arena Down. Again, a little unfortunate I came in with half HP. But I think we recovered okay. I'm a little sad we don't have another full revive. I'm not sure if we could get more of those. So I'm going to try not to use it at all, unless it's a bonus boss at this point. Nice counterattack. It made a cat sound for some reason. Uh, we'll use Rocket Launcher here. Hunter will go ahead and use Sonic Vision. And she'll use Fringing, I think, to keep him alive. Hmm, this is getting interesting. Okay. So, so far this boss is actually really easy. I just got really, really, really unlucky that I started the battle that way. Um, really unfortunate use, because I think this boss is just basically dead. I don't see what this boss could really do to us. It hasn't shown a case any status ailments or AoEs, which is like the only thing I'm worried about. Um, I guess I could still put a safety net of Baywatch on the girl, I guess, just in case it suddenly has, like, Omega Beam or something and I die. I guess I could try to be protective. But this boss is about to take a lot of damage. And we dodged it? Wow. This is, this is now getting embarrassing for the boss chat. Like, just genuinely embarrassing. 
Let's dual cast. I'm gonna tell her that Dogi Angi and I guess Meat Shield works, right? It hasn't done like a special attack at all. The Meat Shield should just absolutely shut this boss down. And I guess I could start trickstering because the boss is kind of easy. I'm a little disappointed in the final fight of this one, to be honest. It's getting absolutely bodied. Oh, we missed. Nice dodge and a counter attack. Nice crit. 4,500 crit. Holy. Um, I'll do an accelerated trickster. Maybe we could rob something from this enemy. Um, I just feel kind of bad. Like this, like I, like it technically does more damage, but it has less annoying mechanics than the other monsters. Kind of disappointing. Is this a meat shield hunter? I thought for sure we would be doing like rest to every turn. You know, like begging it doesn't do certain attacks, but no, not really. So now he's just immune to the boss. A little disappointing. But I'm glad we leveled, though. Wow. Mostly to get through the third phase. I definitely don't regret getting a phaser, because that has been MVP for sure. But I have a feeling the boss is going to die before I do anything again with it. We'll do Trickster again into... I guess I'll be Shield Cowboy. So almost the whole party is immune to this. I have one auto revive in case it has like an on-death attack. But I think we could agree, this is just kind of sad. I'm not even healing anymore, it's not even needed. Rip boss, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna accelerate this, just to burn meter. And then I guess I'll meet shield him again, question mark? Still couldn't steal. Wow. Chat, just give slow claps to the boss. It's not even hurting us anymore. I'm just shooting it with phaser. Oh, and missing apparently. Do a rocket launcher shot. We'll do trickster again. I mean, it's bad that I'm not even bothering to like heal or do anything else because it just, it just can't do anything. I'm just like, okay. I'm just using trickster. That's how unserious this fight is. There we go. So I have 27 more MP. We're still doing decent damage a turn. Thanks to Rocket Launcher. So I think I'm just gonna Fury Strike it, and if it dies, it dies before I get Trickster. So let's say goodbye to the boss potentially here, chat. Uh I guess I'll Batman be chilled herself. It saves me potentially time. Secret sign attained. Okay, that wasn't worth it. That was not worth it. Oh, well. Goodbye. Oh, you survived the 999. Congratulations. Now it's time to actually be serious. <laughs> right, chat? This fight is over. So let's go ahead and just dunk the boss with Sonic Vision. Then, uh... No, no. Do I just melee attack? I think I just melee attack. Who cares? I think this boss fight is over. We've done so much damage to it already. Yeah, it's over. That was sad. We're 20,000 experience for some reason, though. Well, anyway, destroyed. Wow, what a winning streak. Even Duke Paguchi is speechless. Survival Arena, we, we await your challenge. Bring your friends and family to participate in this brutal event. Duplicator acquired. Okay, I got another duplicator. I can't be mad at that chat. We got one back. Three Nectars, full Libra. What is full Libra? Nullify all abnormal status ailments. Um, hmm. I mean, I really like getting more force meter, but that's pretty good. We got like the ribbon equivalency. It would be useful on her, but the problem is like we lose so much sorcery power. We literally lose like 300 by doing this. It could be okay on him. So I guess for normal encounters, we just leave it on, so he's just immune. So yeah, I didn't even use the goat doll. That was such- that was a disappointingly easy final fight, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was just like, we- we dunked it. Slam dunk chat.
I, I would have thought the other final form would have done more. Weirdly, I think the second fight was the hardest just because the brutal attack did so much damage. But like... The, the monster using disease, if it did disease and damage, I think it would have been, like, challenging. And then for the final one, it literally was the second enemy, but it had no bonus attacks, question mark? So that's weird. So I guess if we really wanted to get three ribbons on every character, we can. But I think full status immunity clear would be better for now. So I'm not that far off on leveling with girl. Do I think I can redo any battle to maybe fight that Illusion King? Maybe? I guess we could see if I survive a hit. That's the real question. Here's what we're going to do, chat. I'm going to go down here. Either I fight the thing that gives us duplicators or I level, whichever happens first. Then I guess we see if we if our defense is good enough versus Illusion King. If it is, I'm willing to go further. If it's not, then that's fine. We just know for next time. So preferably this will be the duplicator boss. If it's not, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's this fight of all things. Whatever. So I guess we'll use Secret Sign on the multi-slash. Make it a little cheaper for us. Maybe put Trickster at one as well. see if this level does. Not clay. Yeah, I just want to see if we survive, because we got new armor and we did level since we tried him. So like 2910 in theory should survive angle with Hunter. Plus he also got armor as I said before. Oh, this fight again, disappointing. Yeah, we'll do that to try to reduce our MP costs. And girl having more MP might be good. Slightly better magic resistance, perhaps. She's probably still going to get one shot, which will be annoying, but I just want to know how close she is. That did no damage. So again, we have enough for like very basic upgrades if we need it. So she's slightly faster. 2680 is probably still not good enough, but let's let's find out. So we still have more of the game to do, so we might just come back for that super boss later. Forgot where the arena was relative to me. Uh, might be over here. So I guess I could walk to the arena. Question: How much do I need to level? Quite a lot. So yeah, we need literally 80,000 plus the level, so unless I have another secret sign, we're not going to be getting more of those. So sadly, I think I did waste them earlier in the game, because that boss XP was bad. So at least we cut off and saved, I think, three of them, which is better than nothing. But definitely, if I had saved them to this point, I think it would have been worth more. Which is about where I thought it would go. It's just more disappointing how bad some of those boss drops were. Should be GG to them. Our spell damage is so high. Oh, I'll focus on one enemy a bit more. Unfortunate. Get Prism Raid. But yeah, I think this I think the game is over, as it were. Unless we get another super weapon. I'm not sure how we would upgrade. Load our ammo, heal because we're here. Okay, so let's do this. So we'll save here just to see how much damage we take.
Oh, you know what I just remembered as well? Sorry, this is this has turned into a very excited session. I think from that standpoint, there's actually something I want to do. I wonder if we have what we need to deal with Saint Centaur. If you remember, there was a blind girl that was in the village and she was like the only survivor. I wonder if there's anything we could do with her now. <laughs> it's like, it's slowly coming to me from like the other sessions since I've been thinking about like where else could we go? I'm assuming at some point we could potentially fight the... Uh, what did they call it? The Stone Mermaid. I'm assuming that's a boss we could do at some point. That might be one of the final bosses we do. And was she in the bottom left? I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since we did anything with her. She bottom right. No, she's here. Oh boy, there's this guy who's been coming around to see me. Okay. So this did become a plot point eventually. So I'm assuming it's sometime after we crashed Mother we probably could have been here. He's a little strange, but he seems very sincere. Where's he at? Welcome back. So there's somebody here. Hmm. How's our money looking? Decent. Uh... Oh, that's right. Random encounters. And I really prefer not to use any important resources here, so we'll just do what we can. I think the Magician thing might be immune to all elements. So as long as that's dead, everything else should take big damage from us. Goodbye. No matter what damage we do here, it should be over due to Prism Ray. Oh, we got it anyway. Okay, so sometime after we killed Mother, the blind girl finally had something to do. So that, that was kind of a neat thing. We kind of had a hint that something might happen there. Just because, like, why else would they leave an NPC in a town that's otherwise, like, destroyed? If not for a secret later. Right, let's reduce the cost of Trickster to one. And Slash Rave by one. So that way, our damaging spell went from, I think, 12 to 8. So I can use it more often. It's not bad. Trickster being one, I think, is good due to how many times we have to attempt it. So we're going to go into what is presumably a fight with something. Uh, with full Libra, so we have status immunity. I think we're good. Everybody else is good. Do I want him to be power? Maybe I do. Honestly, response speed has been more important to me. You know what? I'm going to leave it as is. Let's try leaving. Oh, nothing happened. Hmm. Let's use invisibility then. Well, it's John Cena. So I thought we were going to get into a fight there, but nothing happened. But she's talking about this. I like how she could see us, though. Just knows it's Cowboy. Cowboy and his invisibility pranks. Hmm. Let's sleep real quick. Unless there's... Oh, unless there was more than one survivor. Hold on, maybe there was more than one survivor. Oh, there's an item I forgot somewhere here. Oops. We'll find it eventually, I guess. That's not in here. Big oops chat, we'll go find it. Though. 
Not in here. Hmm. <laughs> right, chat, it's here somewhere. Hmm, where is this item? I hear it, but I still have yet to see it. <laughs> where, where is it? What? I just run from encounters, please? I'm so overleveled. Thank you. <laughs> right, chat is it's just one of those things. I'm like, please, please don't make me do this. Uh oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, it's even in a red chest. I just straight up didn't see that there was an item down there. How do we reach that? Alright, we're definitely going to restore MP before whatever happens. Let's have to talk to her with, like, a specific party member, which is possible. Ambrosia. Oh, we got Ambrosia back. Nice. Maybe I have to talk to her with a specific character. So she is saying somebody's here, but it's not advancing the dialogue. That voice hunter, it's been a long time, stranger. Someone has been looking after me. He's a mysterious man and loads of fun. Girl, how are you? I wonder if my swordsman is coming by today. Hmm. Is she referring to Zed, maybe? So, I'm thinking something should trigger here. I mean, if not, well, let's mark that I'll have to come back to Saint Centaur at some point. It feels like something should trigger, but it's not. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I wonder if he's here, and I'm like, yes, I wonder if he's here too. Huh. Weird. I guess I'll make a note real quick. So I'm not sure why it's not triggering. It seems like I should be able to do it. Hmm. Weird. So, I... Weird, 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 weird. Anyway, uh, so... Saint Centaur... Correct my notes. Something needs to happen. Fight with Zed, question mark. All right, Stone Mermaid. Return to Aldehyde or something to find Captain. So those are the only optional bosses I'm, I am I can see based off of what we observed today. So I will, I guess, end this session in just a moment. We're going to oops back to, oops. I'm going to oops back to... Ancient Arena and see how hard the Illusion King is with the upgrades. If it's still out of range, that's fine. We're going to then take a break. I'm going to have like maybe 40 minutes to myself and we'll get started with some PSO. So we'll start probably closer to three. Hopefully Chris ends up getting rest though. <laughs> I was planning on ending it closer to one, but things just kind of happened back to back. Oh, I didn't remember that we did this. Or do I have to do that every time? Oh no, I remember we did the duplicators. Hmm. Anyway, we're at how many duplicators, by the way? Four? Okay, that's a good number. Hopefully we don't need any more, because we did farm- We farm and stole extra. <laughs> I prefer not to grind that out. 
So at most, I could probably get one more level doing something. Is that a monolith? Yeah. So we'll try it. I'll take a break. I, I guess I have food. Well, uh, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll leave it on be right back. I mean, I guess I could eat leftovers. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. I just need to check something for tomorrow. I mean, the worst that happens is I cook food for tomorrow. I think that's fine. We'll just end PSO slightly earlier, that's all. Alright, so let's see how impossible this is. We're gonna go for Phaser. I'm gonna go for... I think it really matters what I go for here. I guess I could do Meteor Dive. She could go for... Response Down, maybe? But then I might be behind if it doesn't work. You know what? I'm gonna go for Baywatch again on herself. It's not awful. That did no damage. That did okay damage. Okay. So let's make sure he heals with this. And then she can now maybe slow him down. Because if it fails, it's not terrible. It's guarding? Okay. That's actually really good for us. How come we didn't get this pattern the first time, right chat? If we slow him down here, this would be huge actually. Nice, okay. Maybe it's doable. I think that missed. Oh no, it just did less damage. Uh, we'll do some rocket launcher then in case he does that again. We're gonna have him heal himself again. She can use Baywatch on Hunter. So that way the two characters most likely to die shouldn't die anymore. Cowboy should not die at all, period. End of statement. So this is the attack we're worried about. How much will this do? Ooh. So kill both of them. So we can continue to do damage here. So do phaser. Doesn't really matter what I do with this character. Wish he had some other abilities he could use here, but not really anything I really want from this. But sadly, he could heal himself to put himself out of kill range. I think. Have him heal Hunter. Uh, I don't like how this is going. Uh, I'm gonna be watch the girl again and see what happens. I'm gonna hopefully survive a melee if he goes for a melee. Otherwise, the fight is over right here. Okay, he is guarding for some reason. So that gave me another turn. So I can choose to phaser him into healing for cowboy, into Baywatch for hunter maybe. The so cowboy might survive a hit. Do so two characters that are immune to death. Our damage is actually not terrible. Silence is fine. And it hit the only target that doesn't matter. So that's... I'm completely fine with that. We're gonna do maybe a phaser shot. We're gonna have him do a normal heal on the girl. I'm going to use Resta to maybe survive this. I wasn't sure if he would go first or not. So this is actually going okay. We're doing consistent damage. Oh, I say that as I, whiff, as I whiff. He's immune to status ailments. The boss has a lot of attacks that don't do anything. So that's maybe how we win. Uh, I don't think I really want to dare to trickster this. I think I go for... Meteor Dive here. Let's go for... Actually, you know what? Let's use Magic Carrot on her now while we're not being pressured. And then we're going to use our Revive on one of our other characters. I forget if Hunter has it or not. Hellboy definitely doesn't. I don't remember who has it. I, again, this would help if I had an indicator to tell me who's being revived. I'm going to put it on her because I just honestly don't remember if she has it on her or not. I just generally don't. 
So she should be immune. So we have kind of like a safety wall going on. Did 999. It's guarding again. So I could do that to Hunter. So I might as well take this opportunity to carrot again. Do rocket launcher. Do carrot. Protect him. It's actually going okay, I think. So we're not low on MP. I have two immunity to deaths. As long as it doesn't do the Omega attack back to back, I think we're fine. And we're outputting decent damage. So now I think I might be able to get away with a wide open here. So let's go for another one of these. Into... I guess I could trick... Uh, let's not trickster. Do this into... Let's see, let's see. Wide open, maybe get some damage going. Because otherwise, Hunter doesn't really do any damage to the boss. Okay, that's good. So we've done maybe about 20,000 damage so far. It's doing the attack that I'm worried about. So Hunter just barely doesn't survive. So I think I could just do a turn of full heal on characters like this. And then she can revive herself, maybe? Might be the smart thing to do. So he could survive a melee hit. Hellboy can survive a melee hit. She could survive anything. Then I can rest the next turn and I think we're fine. Oh, it did it again. That's unfortunate. See? Oh, the RNG, chat. The RNG. We would have been completely fine had it just chosen any other attack. So I think this is in theory beatable, but it feels a little unfair for it to do that. So he'll survive being revived. Because he's 4,000 health. That's a lot of HP. Or she gets targeted. Rip her. So this is just kind of like one of those unfortunate scenarios where I think just it's RNG whether or not you win at this level. So we might just choose to level to ignore that. I think chat could agree. There's nothing really fun about RNG decides whether you win or not. Because I don't think I did anything wrong. I had, I had duplicate lives. I did the best healing that I had available, more or less. So just kind of like one of those moments where you shrug. I could try to heal her with this. If they watch herself so she doesn't die. So as long as Cowboy is alive, I can still win this. The girl tanking a hit is fine. So we're going to heal yet again. I really prefer not to use my last Mega Berry, but I think I might be forced to. Um, Who goes first? Does she go first? I think she does. I'm going to Ambrosia into a revive here and see how that works. Use a revive. Well, yeah, I want to revive fruit because I'm really low on uh, magic. Yeah, this should work. So Cowboy should live no matter what here. And as long as the boss doesn't Seventh Moon again, we're fine. I basically reset the situation. Yep, we're going to have to come back. It is, it is now decided that no fun will be had. It's <laughs> so unfortunate. I don't think we're that close to killing it either. So yeah, it's one of those things where it's not it's not challenging. It just RNG'd into a way that I couldn't win. If if it just did that Omega attack like every three attacks, I don't think it would be that bad. So we'll do our last bit of damage here. I doubt it'll die. Just unfortunate. Like again, you saw it basically just wasting time. So if it had been really good and manipulating when it did it, I think we would have been fine. So that's one thing I will praise Etrian Odyssey for. They have boss RNG, but it's like consistent RNG if it makes sense. Like, it'll cycle through one of three attacks, and then it'll always save its super attack for like the fourth turn or the fifth turn, and then it'll repeat the cycle. This one just seems super arbitrary when the attack is coming, so I don't really have like a good sense of like how to prep for it. I think that's kind of the downside of some of the non 
Atlas RPGs where there is like actually a pattern within the RNG that it rewards you for knowing. So it just if it decides the seventh moon twice, it's over. So unless I feel like constantly using dolls, which I don't really want to do, I think we'll come back to this later. Because in theory, every character could just have a doll and just re-equip it because it's better than a healing item because it'll auto revive them. Or if I gain like two levels, Hunter will no longer get one shot. And that'll reduce the number of uh, revives I need. So either either I grind it out for the dolls, which is boring, then there's no challenge left in the game, or I just come back after doing like one dungeon and reattempt this while it's still somewhat challenging. So I'll leave it here for now. So I fully acknowledge I can spend like 50k, I could probably get like 40 revives, not really worth it. I prefer to beat it without doing that if we can avoid that. I don't mind using like a doll or two dolls to avoid some of the RNG, but not like 30 or 40. But anyway, let's chat. So I think that's all for today for Wild Arms. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm not sure how long you'll stick around, Chris, but we'll do some PSO when I'm back from it. So I'll probably pause the stream, but for people that want to stick around, we'll be doing PSO when I'm back. But I think from that standpoint, we have uh, a lot of progress done in Wild Arms. I think if I were to level maybe two more times, that fight will be basically over, because I'll have enough raw HP on all the characters to win and potentially get a small armor upgrade. Because just think about it too, chat. I found a weapon, but I've not found their final armor. So potentially, if the RNG dungeon decides to uh, care and decides to allow me to progress into it, it could be good. Okay, you'll be around for a bit. I'll try not to take too long. But anyway, that's it for Wild Arms. A little disappointed in the boss AI. Definitely a big letdown. I thought the final phase of the arena was going to be hard, but it was actually the easiest fight. Just because the boss had n seemingly no AoE mechanics. So either that was the luckiest fight in the universe that it decided to do zero specials, or it just didn't have any. Which either way, I'm not super impressed. And again, that's why you have that boss AI pattern down to make the bosses more memorable. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. So yeah, that boss was disappointing. So we'll continue onwards. We'll probably come back when we get a level, maybe some armor just to survive it. Like Hunter really just needs a very small armor upgrade over the one that we purchased. I mean, he's within like, what, 50 damage of living. So that's basically a level up or armor. So one of the combinations, I think we could then beat it. He's never going to be a big damage dealer, but we could potentially have him with ult healing. Sadly, I didn't see a place to get a lot of Mega Berries unless we're like hardcore trickster farming something. So that's also a little disappointing. Yeah, I wish that other boss decided to just not do 7th Moon twice in a row. If it did it once in a while, I think it would have been fair. Like, every, again, like every three attacks or like it could be every six, but it could be every third randomly. Not like it does it again, it does it again, it does it again. It feel it feel kind of lame if we beat it and it just never seventh moons twice in a row. Do you know what I mean? Just always get disappointed when we come across those things. But oh well, that's personal taste. So anyway, that's uh, all we're going to do for Wild Arms for now. So I will be back. I will probably turn off the stream since I don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> how are there two seventh moons anyway? Wouldn't it be seventh and eighth? You would think. So for people looking for other games, stick around. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.